Alrighty, here we go. It's the first game of the league. This is the first game of the season for Point Park Esports. I'm Ricky, hosting you today, and this is... I'm Gail. Yep. And I'm just... Oh my gosh. I've, I've been waiting so long ever since, like, fall semester for the league season to start, and I'm just I'm so excited to see what's going to happen today. I just... There's going to be a whole new game, whole new style of play coming from the coach to where instead of being, like, a tanky setup and utility... It's actually going to be an aggressive play style, so. Which I'm quite mm. excited to see from our guys. I think, mm. I think maybe getting some type of aggression in. Yes. will be fantastic. And oh my gosh, yes. I think it'll be pretty entertaining. See, I'm on the set main, so I I love stuff like that. But it seems like our draft is ready. Oh, and here we go! Oh my gosh, I've been waiting to see the screen for so long, yo. Our first two bands, we got Ash and Cassidy, which is pretty good. Ash, I think. Ash was an annoying support. I um. I hate it. It's just, it's it's so hard, especially with the R and then especially with the E with the bird for the vision. It's just it's an annoying pick. But it seems like Liberty Van Kassen, which that is our mid laner, is one of his comfort picks. That is true. So that was definitely targeted. No, I'm. And a Silas fan. Really? Okay. They did talk about earlier and how they were looking at the Silas and how um, Liberty's jungle played Silas. So. Maybe they were being cautious of that because once Silas gets, if Silas gets remotely fed in 15 minutes going 5-0, then he can basically just one-shot the entire team and also still ult. So that's always like, a hassle. I feel like with Silas too, like even if he's not fed, like if he even gets a little bit above, up in CS, mm. he's just so powerful that it is such a difficult exactly. lane or jungle. But it seems like the one with Sejuani, Ben, I guess they're looking at, um, they're looking at... Looking at Kakid's fools, because he usually plays tanks, but tuh, they don't know. My boy's doing aggressive today. Might see a Darius. Might see something like a Mordekaiser. That's from, that's from what I heard. And the Yone ban. That one's that's... pretty good. See, I feel like a lot of the bans they're getting at right now, they can, they're can they like double bans, because Ash is like ADC and support. Silas can do jungle or mid Yone, yep. mid and top. And I think that's really good, because it's covering a lot of ground for... All of our guys. That is a great point, yeah. The Wukong oh, ban is targeted as well. I think I can't remember if it was our jungler or support who plays a lot of Wukong, but that's definitely our jungler. Our jungler's that's one of his um comfort picks actually, Wukong. He even he saw me um earlier that he was actually thinking about going Wukong. So them banning Wukong definitely changes the changes the pace for Point Park. Oh, and we got our first pick. It's gonna be Kakid. And it's going to be a rise. They're going to lock in the rise. And I believe that will be a rise mid, which that's that's different to see. I was hoping to see um, hope you see an Echo. I hope you see something like that. But it's okay. Well, you said Echo might be a pick for the jungle. And I know this Highway. Is highway is pretty good on rise. Yeah, this is very, very true. And also, since you have the rise ult, which basically is almost a free telly for the entire team. So you can get mm -hmm. to those objectives when they need to get to. And the Cassiopeia. I hate that character. Oh my gosh. It's a it's a general basic Medusa character, but I hate it so much. Okay, we're hovering Echo Nidalee. Ooh, oh. might be going with a Zed pick. Zed jungle can be scary. Definitely. Seems like Seems like he's really thinking about it. Ooh, if it goes okay. Oh, all and right. they got the echo. They lock in the echo. Okay, so that is looking like a echo jungle. Which, that is there. That is one of the um the junglers that um Liberty's jungle plays. So that should be interesting. Maybe that's why they were talking about trying to get an Echo jungle, trying to take that from them. Exactly. And so now, oh, if we oh lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, please. <gasps> is that a Maokai? Are we going to see the Maokai jungle? Oh my gosh, we're going to see it the Maokai jungle. It could also be a jungle. Maokai support if you really think about it. This is true. This is very very true. But oh I'm goodness. excited to see where they're putting that Maokai. That's different now. Now we have a Rise and we have a Maokai that's perfect and just great for team fights, especially with Maokai's R, which is just, I mean, it's so hard to fight for an objective with Maokai's R. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost uncontestable as soon as you get rooted. And the Zaya pick. Really? Wow. This is... This is going That'll to be it... so interesting. Like That's actually perfect for objectives, too, because Zaya has so much... Um, in the late game, she has a lot of auto-attack, and she can melt those objectives. Exactly. It's a lot of burst. 
and also with the ultimate, which gives her invincibility, then that keeps her safe from, say, the Echo or the Cassiopeia ult. So this is it's a very good pull from from both sides, honestly. Are we Aphelios? Really? I mean, I guess it would work because Zaya doesn't have a lot of range, but this Aphelios, at least with... um. Aphelios has a variety of range with that um with that weapon rotation, so that's gonna be an interesting bot lane. But I wonder, I wonder what supports because if it is a Maokai Zaya support, then no Maokai support and Zaya bot, then that'll be a that's gonna be a pretty strong lane to be honest. Mm -hmm. But we still haven't seen Liberty support yet. They banned Lulu. Oh, Liberty that's banned interesting. Lulu. Wow. Okay. They definitely don't want any issues with Lulu. That's well, that's what any Enchanter support, honestly. Enchanter supports, they're, they're really strong right now, especially with the kickoff of the season. They, they were even really strong in the preseason as well, so. But Lulu is an interesting one to ban out of all of them because oh out of Enchanters, we got Soraka, we got Nami. True. Sona. I feel like I'd rather deal with a Lulu over a Soraka, but that's just my that's personal fair. opinion. That's fair. That's fair. And they banned Shen. So there's this, there's been this whole thing with Liberty that the I am Sonate uses Shen and is a uh, his comfort pick is Shen and only uses Shen in rank so Point Park definitely shot that down instantly they would have no part with the Shen <laughs> especially with his scaling and also dealing with that scaling in those team fights they and banned their match. Malphite though no they banned the Malphite see now this this leaves top lane to to a number of just possibilities they could possibly Liberty Liberty's top lane. I know I cannot see the names yet of Liberty, but they could possibly go. Um, as we go to tank, what is it? John. Ho John Hopkins. Sorry. All right, John Hopkins could possibly go. Um, possibly go any tank here, because as usually, from what I hear, from at least from Point Park's uh, players, that his usual picks are are tanks. But with Kakid, he can. I mean, you know, my boy, he's versatile. He could go damage, he can go bruiser, he can go tanks. Like, he might we be, might be seeing tank. that. We might be seeing that Darius game. Exactly, that Darius game. But the Zillion. Oh, the Zillion pick. That's going to be irritating. Let's see. See, Ugh. but if they can manage to at least dodge, like, his bombs, because his bombs is his whole stun. This and while true. they're easy to dodge, if you're not paying enough attention, that's really going to screw they you do, over. They do, they hurt. Especially mm -hmm. if you go, um, say the Zillion goes like Leandre's, mm -hmm. then that's going to be really, really annoying to deal with. And then the if Aphelios has Severum. Yes, that's just true. But I do like that Karma pick. I've seen a lot of mm. people picking Karma recently, and I think that's a sign that she's growing as a champion, and I love that for her. Karma is... Solid all around, honestly, with the get the movement speed for her teammates. You also have the shield, and then she also has a little bit of that burst damage as well for the good poking in the laning phase. So and the mantra Q. And the Darius. Yes. And we got the our Darius. Darius. Yes, we got the Darius. Yes. Well, their top lane pick is still open. We got to hope that they don't try and counterpick that. I got to see. This is true. I'm so, I'm so curious to see what they're going to play into the Darius. Cassiopeia, you have Echo, Aphelio, Zillion, and they they have a lot of damage, so usually you would want to, it'd be ideal to go with a, yep, with a tank it pick. It, it would be ideal, and especially with Orn. I mean, the Orn with the Zillion and the Echo, that, that's a very, very strong team fight, and of course, with Cassiopeia, with that annoying ultimate, like, both teams have really good they have really good team fights in general, but it's a matter of, of course, making it to that team fight phase because anything can happen in the laning phase. Mm -hmm. Especially if Darius gets ahead, then I mean, game's not over, but it's it's going to be hard to play that and to even contest Darius in the top lane if he gets remotely fed. So, I do like the way our bot lane is looking right now. I feel like Zaya Karma is has oh, a lot of good synergy, mm. especially if we can get Karma in there, get a tether, get a stun, then Zaya gets her feathers behind. Exactly. Ease him back, and then another stun. The double root is going to be so nasty. But they also have a double root. The root's just a little bit harder to hit, I think. This is true, but they all they also have the res as well. That's so where true. You get the whole combo could waste the um could waste the heal, and burn flash, but then you still have to worry about Zillion. So. That's always going to be annoying. So for right now, we're going to be going into a little bit of a delay for us. But um, I think it will be about three minutes. And then we'll get back on the screen and we'll get to the action. 
So, Gail, how do you feel about how do you feel about both of the comps? Because both of the comps have a lot of there's a lot of possibilities there for like maybe early ganks, early tower dive, especially in that bot lane with the Maokai. He could probably take some hits to pick up some picks for his team. So. See, I feel like in terms of ganks, I feel like their ganks are going to be a lot faster and it's going to be a lot harder for us to counter gank them mm. because Echo has that movement speed where Maokai so is a little bit slower. It takes but him a bit to get online. Once we get to the objectives and everything, we have so much that's going to be able to go over. Like we have the Maokai mm. ult, we have the Rise ult. We can get that Darius spin in there. Getting... Yep, so it's true, yeah. And with Zaya Karma, along with that, we'll be melting the objectives. We'll yep. be getting them, we're zoning them away from them. I think we'll be good in that front. Do you think they have enough damage for the objectives compared to... Um, the enemy? Yeah, compared to the enemies now? I'm not actually sure. Because <laughs> it's, it's going to be hard. I'm not sure. I think it depends on how laning phases go. If laning True. phases go perfectly, absolutely yes. Mm. But if their laning phases go a little bit better than ours, then we're going to be in a bit of a sticky situation. But I feel like what we have, we have a lot of jump back ability. Definitely. I definitely think that the bot lane... I think bot lane and mid lane is going to be very crucial mm -hmm. for for this match for just ha getting that control of drag maybe rift i'll be whatever i mean i i personally wouldn't put prio on rift especially since you have orn and darius kind of duking it out in top lane and if you kind of interject in there then that won't go well so i feel like if we can leave orn and darius to their own device yeah leave them like alone <laughs> It's a little top lane island. Yeah. <laughs> Let them have their top lane yeah. island. Focus on the bot in the mid. Yeah, definitely. Because if we can get Rise that Rod of Ages. Yes. Assuming oh that's, my goodness. Assuming he goes that. I mean, Rod of Ages I wouldn't, is pretty I strong. wouldn't understand why he wouldn't. Yeah. Rod of Ages is so good right about now. If but we can get him Everfrost that early is, on. Could go Everfrost as well to get the root as well. So, that's I mean, true. It's, it depends. But, I mean, if he's feeling confident, you go Rod of Ages. Oh, my goodness. Into the mage source of your boots. <laughs> So much damage. So, so we can get it damage. early, then he can get those stacks off early. Exactly. And then maybe this try and stomp on that Cassiopeia before she even thinks about getting fed. This is very true. This is very true. And that's the thing about laning against Cassiopeia is that if you push up too far, then you're just going to get kited and ulted, and then you're done. <laughs> like it's, You're done. But then it says you... I want to come back to the Echo because Echo... The character in general is annoying, and he has the potential to get those early games to get his lanes online and fed by i mean by 10 minutes and a fed echo is just that, that's just irritating Terrifying. along with the zillion if the echo gets ulted echo alts and of course See. you catch them but then you have the zillion all and it's like oh my gosh like he just never dies like <laughs> So, we just better hope he doesn't get a guardian angel on there to make it oh my gosh make that it would be terrifying no oh, oh my goodness that would be out of, like, sheer spite to just get Guardian Angel. <laughs> and here we are. We are loading into the match right now. All right, so here we go. We have I am, Sonate on Orn, Frozen Peak on Echo, John, John, the noob, Cassiope, I'll just call him John, John, JJ, <laughs> Abney, Aphilios, Spark Flash on Zillion, and for Point Park, you know, you got the boys, Kakid. Actually, let me talk about, there. we have, we have about, we have a whole new roster compared to compared to the past for point park so our new players are highway um which is i believe he's a freshman at point park uh we have kai which he's a freshman as well and we have ralts which he is i believe he is a senior but it looks like echo's trying to go for that invade yeah he definitely wanted to try and get that vision but he ended up getting the vision unfortunately i don't think we're gonna see any i don't think we're gonna see any invades it seems like I feel like the enemy team is not... Their comp isn't really built for early invades. Maybe, maybe I'd be wrong on that, but it just doesn't seem realistic. Everybody's just kind of feeling each other out. It's kind of just waiting for the waves to come along. <laughs> and so we're messing with the... Uh, messing with the sevens a little bit just to heighten the quality for our viewers. Like, Warren is going to leash Echo. Help him out with the red buff. I love that name. I am, I am Shenet. I am the Shenet. I would have liked to see the Shen. Of course, I mean, I'm, I'm all here for Point Park, but. It would have been funny to see the matching name with the matching champ. Exactly. He's a, he's a, he's a diamond one Shen. I play Shen. <laughs> I would love to, <laughs> I would love to see how he plays. So we got Darius. See, now this is great 
for this is great for Kaki because now he has a little bit of that wave, a little bit of um of wave prior, and definitely gets the level two first. And as you can see, he's already playing a little bit um a little bit up on Orn. Yeah, but it does screw us over in the bot lane because that means they also got that minion wave before we were able to get there. This is very true. This is very very true. This bot lane. This bot lane is gonna be really, really interesting because it's almost—it's almost like a hit or miss. It's almost the zillion does his job, does what he meant to do, or the Zahi gets fed, and that's kind of it. But as you can see, Aphelios just playing really, really confident right there, and they got the level two for Io, so it makes it a little bit hard. If he continues to play confident, maybe he'll get overconfident. Oh, because I've seen that with a lot of Aphelios players. They'll get overconfident and then screw themselves over in the long run. Mm. Very true. Even and when I was trying to play Aphelios for a little bit, it is so easy to feel like you were a god. <laughs> it's so easy <laughs> to feel like you're that. a god and think you can tower dive, and then you can't, especially with that Zaya. A lot of action going on in top lane, but Darius does have that level 3, so Orn has to be careful. Earlier on um, routes, he came in and burned Cassiopeia's flash, so now Cassiopeia doesn't have the flash to go against the Rise. And all, all Rise needs to do is just freeze the lane and he's chilling and now. an eq 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 yep exactly <laughs> EQ, EQ, EQ. <laughs> i love that but now this leaves cassiopa with probably like four minutes until he get flask again oh and we got something going on top so I, I love it i love the action that i'm seeing right now i i'm i'm all for it i think they're trading off pretty well well orn did his brittle but he's but kakid still managed to survive that orn is just a sponge that that's it's what i don't true. like about orn is that He's an absolute sponge when it comes to damage, and then if you have some potions, which ideally you would, then you're kind of just sitting there and just waiting for him to come. It's almost like Garen, almost. Mm -hmm. And now you have Ra Cassiopeia playing a little bit really far up oh, on Oh, she's Rise. really going far up. That's very confident, considering that she doesn't have... She doesn't have her flash up. Exactly, doesn't have the flash up, and now doesn't have burned her ghost. I, I don't really know... I don't know what the play was there, especially level behind... <laughs> Didn't have the wave prio, like, that's that's basically a free lane for Ryze at that point. She probably thought she can go in there and try and get highway. Just kite him, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, Almost wish she did that. Echo's looking bot, but it looks like he is going to recall, so they are safe for now. Seems like they had the seems like they had the info to see that the Echo was coming over. Mm -hmm. We do have drag coming up in just 30 seconds, and it's going to be the wind dragon, so... Oh, no, Echo is coming and down. And Echo goes in! Oh, oh and, get and he gets the first blood, but Trade we got out. the kill. Karma got the pick. One for one. I think that's. I think that was fair. Pretty. Oh my goodness! And oh, he got the orange so low. And is there? It's, and Darius he gets, gets, the gets the kill. The kill. Oh, yes, Kakin gets the kill on the orange. And now we got Maokai down in bot lane. Yes. Aphelios did get the kill on our Karma, but. Seems like Maokai is gonna. Oh, Maokai's definitely going to secure that kill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, absolutely. Amazing and he gets placement. the Aphelios. Amazing placement by his little buddies there. I don't know the exact name for Maokai's buddies. I think but they're saplings. Saplings, yes. Had two saplings there to cut off the escape. I mean, just great gameplay. Great gameplay by, by both teams. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to say, though, that Queen Park kind of has the edge um, in this because solely because Darius is 1-0 now. Now you have Sheen. In, in five minutes, Sheen, five minutes with Darius, that's dangerous. That is, that's something you do, you do not want any part of, especially when you're going, and you're getting, they're getting, everyone's getting closer to level six. And then Maokai picks up a pick. Echo gets the pick, but dies for it, so it's not really, he wasn't able to get CS or maybe invade the um, Point Park's jungle. So it's not really much value, but. The thing is, they do seem to be ahead in gold, mm. but we are ahead by a kill. Exactly. Head by kill, and now bot lane has that prior, so they could possibly go for dragon, which it looks like Maokai is kind of trying to look for that right now. If not dragon, they can at least get a couple plates off, I feel like, or mm. half of a plate, which is still so, so beneficial. Oh, Orin just got the ult off on Darius. Seems like Kakid. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. that would have would have been a huge play. It seems like, seems like Kakid, he just couldn't get that level six that he wanted to that would have would have been that, huge for that fight that was a rough battle for him yeah Orin got him in a bad position that's, that's all right just, he can come back for it they're both one for one yeah that's just that's just game sense right there just knew that he was 10 cs up had the level six prior when you have that level six prior 
I, coming from a top laner myself, it, it makes you feel like a god. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, oh, he's level five. I'm dumping everything into him. Mm -hmm. But here we go. Point probably is trying to oh, see. Oh, looking at that echo right there. Oh, but he did he's dash away. Up on the echo. That's a little bit of damage though, which is good. Routes because that's gonna cause him to recall now. Yep, exactly. And we got Maokai looking bot. Yep. Aphelios oh. using several. Oh, oh and it's the like gang. a huge play. Zaya got the kill. Yes. Keep looking at Zaya got the other kill. Oh my gosh, what a play. What a play by Point Park. What a play that by Botman. That was so good. Oh my gosh, the, the flash And they can the go blue. to Bar not Baron, Dragon after that. And they get the Dragon, oh my gosh. And that Rise is right there, my boy for the Dragon too. Goodness gracious. The rotations were on point. The gank was on point. Solid play. Just just solid fundamentals of League right there, honestly. And now they get Drag for free. Seems like this top matchup is... Oh, I hate Orn. I just, that, that's not even totally unprofessional, but I just, I, I'm, I might go on a tangent on Orn. <laughs> Maybe in a podcast or something, because that is just an annoying character to land against. And especially, he's such a strong team fighter as well. But anyways, we have Rift Herald up now in three seconds. Echo is on top side with Darius going around, getting that vision, and he gets the Scuttle Crab as well for the vision um, on Rift, so... Did he get the... I don't think he got scuttle. I think oh, it just spawned he as he walked away. Alrighty. But he does got that control word in that bush right now. It looks like Maokai and Karma are rotating up. Echo is coming down. Some great damage by Darius right there. And, and Orn got huge plays, but it seems like Orn is in a tough spot. And, and he's, he's dead. And the bleed oh gets him. Let's gracious, go. The bleed. Echo got has himself in a bad position right now. We got oh the Maokai no. ult. Though That's Echo. Echo's ult. But now Echo doesn't have all the fight and contest the Rift Herald. That means we get free Herald. Wow. Unless Cassiopeia comes up around the corner, but our rise is right on top of her. And there we go. Darius 2-1. You don't want any business of this, buddy. You better <laughs> back off of the Rift Herald. That's going to be Point Park's Rift Herald now. Wow. They are up on Bot's tower, but... Sis, I mean, you got got to get some type of value, especially when you're in this position where you don't have drag. You don't have Rift Herald, gotta, gotta get some plates or something. Zaya is in a really rough position right now, but it does not look like they're going to die of her, so she is safe for now. Just getting poked to poke the hell by Aphelios <laughs> right there, goodness gracious. Gotta, gotta love to see some good old mechanics. Good old mechanics. Oh, Cassiope, but a great flash by Karma. I think that was her ult. I think she tried ulting that Karma, but it did not work out. Yeah. Cassiopa definitely tried to go for an R there, but that misses the R, so now she doesn't have that R. That was a very, I want to say, unlucky play. And but then Highway gets that little bit of wave push. What? And what is just, what is the what chaos is that's happening in top lane? <laughs> and looks like Kaki is just going to run down Orn. I don't know what's happening there. If Orn Honestly, was just... as he should. He's winning that This right is now. very Orn... true. And he gets and balled he gets on. It. Oh, my goodness. Orn burns the flash, but it doesn't even matter because of how... Darius ultimate works, you flash, if you're out of the range, it doesn't matter, you're getting hooped on. <laughs> I would have loved to see Dunk Master Darius, but now Darius is 3-1 with Merc Treads and now has a ton of gold. He's going to push in, probably get some plates as well. This is, top lane is getting taken over. Okay, then... Aphelios got stunned by that Maokai ult and we got a little sapling on top of him. Might be... It does not like look like they're going to get a pick off yeah, here, but up. they pushed it up enough that Zaya can now safely recall. Mm. This is very true. And as you can see, Echo was coming in bot slash slow. Mm -hmm. That probably that fight would have been in our favor. I mean, great discipline by Point Pride right now. They're going for the plays. They're making plays. They're playing back. They're not overstaying. Um, they're getting value. Cause it's all about the money at the end of the day. It's all about the CS and the cash flow. You are right. We are up in gold now. Exactly. For a minute, they were up in gold, but we are up by that looks like at least 1K, almost 1K. Almost. They're, they're pushing towards it. Pushing towards it. As we see, we have that been seeing a lot of action from mid. I mean, Cassiopeia had been trying to kite the Ryze to death, but Ryze can honestly just sit in the tower, freeze the lane, and just farm comfortably, to be honest. Rotate when he needs to, just like he did with Dragons. There's not really much going on in the mid lane. That Cass is super aggressive, though. Definitely hyper aggressive. I mean, she was trying to push when she was level 3 against the Ryze that was level 4. It's just the confidence. You could, you could tell that this player... That um John John JJ, that, <laughs> and again goes with the flash ult, but isn't able to capitalize on it. So that's Cassiopeia burnt the flash and doesn't have ult again. So 
I mean, these are just unfortunate plays for John John right now. And we got the Herald down bot lane. Herald down and bot lane. Wow. And as you can see, Zillion trying to play a little bit aggressive in the mid lane, but you're not catching my boy Ryze like that. Nope. And Zillion being up there does cause them to lose that bot tower. I feel like if Zillion was there, Definitely. maybe one plate would have been left. But that bot tower is seems like most likely gone. Seems like the Echo and the Cassiopeia are trying to trade. They're trying to trade for plates. This is very interesting that JHU is trading for plates as objectives are lost. So I don't. It seems like their their play style is okay. They got the objective, we'll get, we'll get the next one. Or, I mean, it's just first drag, so it'll be whatever. But we have a second drag coming up in just 20 seconds. We got seconds. the Orin ult up, but he misses. Oh my gracious, what He got an that Darius class. bleed on him. And you get balled on again, oh. my boy. It's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. I mean, amazing mechanics by Kakid right there. He saw the Orin, and he flashes out of the way of the Orin ult, makes him miss the ult, and then just R's him. Like, it's as I said before. If the Darius gets fed, no one wants any part of that. You can even see Echo's not going over there. They're like, okay, that's your problem, bro. <laughs> like, you got to deal with it. That's your lane. Exactly. That's your lane, buddy. Like, we have to get some control of Dragon. Try to figure out a plan right there. Looks like we are trying to fight for Dragon right now. We got the Aphelios ult off, Ma Maokai ult. Echo is chasing Karma now. Now Aphelios doesn't have ult anymore, and that was... Philo started kiting like crazy on the Karma and the Maokai right there, but but it seems like JHU they don't really capitalize off that. They kind of mm -hmm. they get what they need and and that was Cassiopeia the Cassiopeia ult. Third ult miss. I don't mean to be that guy, but that is the third ult miss now, and they don't have that for Drag, which I would have been lovely to have for the fight of Drag. The Maokai also doesn't have his ult for Drag. This is true. This this is very true. So maybe maybe Drag's up in the air right now, definitely. But those Cassiopeia alts are definitely it's, something. They're looking brutal. It's it's <laughs> looking maybe it's the first He's game struggling. nerves, but it's looking fairly brutal right now. We got JH on the dragon right now. But is Point Park going to contest this drag? It seems like they're gonna try and contest this drag right now. It looks like Rise ult is up if they can manage to maybe ult a little bit further in. Uh, oh they nope, we're getting that recall. Is that a recall? Going off top. Darius has Divine Sunder before 15 minutes. Now, with Divine Sunder on Darius, that now he's looking really, really scary right now. Looking really, really scary. Has the first item. Um, the only other people that have the first item is JHU and our Zaya, Point Park Zaya. So, and we've got a lot of action going on right now. Zillion had the ult himself. Not. But then Malachi oh, comes Malachi out of nowhere. I didn't even see him, man. Uh, oh my gracious. And, and Rise. The rise. What if, does Ryze get that pick though? And, and Ryze he gets, gets the, the pick. pick. Oh my gosh. We just got to cross our fingers for that. Oh, and the Zillion bomb didn't even get him. Wow. Well, I mean, what, again, what gameplay by And Point the Park? Mastery 5 and flash. Runs, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that it, is so, toxic. Mastery 7 flash. That's a little bit of an ego right there. But That wasn't even 7. That was 5. That was 5? That was 5. Oh, I just thought, <laughs> hey, if it, I just thought if it was turquoise, then it was just 7. But this is, nah, this is that crazy was... right now. Imagine getting dogged on by a rise flashes M5. <laughs> but Point Park is just, it, you can just tell Point Park is just having fun. They're playing their game. They're not getting riled up by the plates that they're losing. I mean, these are just very solid ganks. I didn't even I didn't even see that Maokai came out of nowhere. I didn't even see the rise all. I mean, just what a play by Point Park. But it, it seems like JG is trying to make a play on that Darius. I, we got Zion mid with the alone. Cassiopeia. I leave the Darius looks like alone. They're trying to look for Rift Herald right now. I mean, at this point, kind of. Well, no, no, this is uh, no. They can they can give up Rift Herald. I, I wouldn't think they'd give up Rift Herald again. But it seems like Point Point Park is on top of the objectives. There, they're like, okay, this objective's up. We're going for this, and we're gonna get control of this. They're setting up vision. It seems like they're setting up for vision for um, Rift Herald right now. And, oh, they're, and they're taking they're it. They're already going for it. See, if I was JHU, I'd, I'd let him have it. Because are you really... Are like, you really going to go you, in there and try and do anything go about in? that? Forward one Darius? Are you just... I, I wouldn't do it. It just is and what it is. And the 2-0 Maokai. Exactly. It's... I mean, and Maokai has Demonic Embrace, which makes him even more tankier, along with the ongoing DPS he has. With the burn, it's just... It was not a play for it's, JHU. It's just not... It's not possible, bro. But here we go. Now... Now, where the only objective that's coming up in a little bit is Baron. We have Dragon. 
another wind dragon. I don't. I got nothing against the wind dragon. I mean, no, it's, it's cool for movement speed, but oh, it's it is Hexel. Hexel. It is Hexel. Okay, I did not think about that. It's gonna be a hex streak, which will be great for the rise in the Zaya exactly. with that chain. Yes. A lot of bird. I mean, I or even Karma for that matter. This is true. I'm curious to see. I don't know if Karma's gonna go into. Oh, Cassiopeia hit her first Cassiopeia. ult of the game. Yep, and, and that's gonna be a kill. Him. Yep, that's gonna be a kill. I mean, eventually it was gonna happen. It was. <laughs> so it's like see. seven tries, but Cassiopeia not even putting boots. Go straight in the rod and go well, straight Cass into. Cass can't build boots. I didn't really. Really. I did not that's know her that. Passive. Her passive. That is... She cannot build boots. That's crazy. Gets increased move speed. So it means, wow. That's even more, that means you can stack up even more damage, like, really early in the game, since you don't have to, like, waste that gold to get boots. That's, yeah. that's so interesting. And Darius wasting no time. It just, so much damage right there. And JH, you looking like they're getting back on their feet, besides... It looks like he's going to look for that pick, maybe. He can get that pick on that Ornn, and oh then he takes goodness. that top tower that right is, after. Yeah. That would be a free tower, honestly, because no, no one else is there. They're left alone on their top lane island. Yeah, <laughs> the top lane island, and Orin, Orin keeps getting caught by that Darius pool, but Ooh, Aphelios, Aphelios goes in. gets that pick on Karma. Does not look like he's going to get anything else, though. Like maybe, maybe they'll get Orin. that tower. Ooh. But we have Zaya coming up with Maokai. Maybe they can zone him off a little bit to also try and save that. Also got the Rise. Oh, yeah, Rise. Could be a possible. See, that's the thing about Rise. You, you don't really, like... Never be like, oh, rise until like you see the all, and then he starts hitting everything, and it's like, oh god, rise! <laughs> like, I think another issue with rise is rise is such like an objectively not great champion. Like you look this at his win true. rate, and it's not good. Everybody yep. always says like rise is like the worst champion in the game. This is so true. when you see a rise, it's like, oh, he's not gonna stomp on me. I'm gonna stomp on him. Exactly. And then he <laughs> comes around the corner, eqs, and then what are you gonna do about that? Darius, unfortunately, guys, flash burned there because of the orn and Cassiopeia. Pushing up top now to try and see if she can get something. But Cassiopeia's not there. Dragon's up. I don't think this is... I don't think this is a great decision. No. We do JH. got the Rift Herald up in the mid lane. Also have the Rift. So now you have, now Point Park has the lane priority. And they just ulted to get drag. I mean, are you going to go for the Rift? Are you going to hold off the Rift? Or are you going to contest drag? It looks so. like they're going to try and let Rift push on its own. I think it, char it got a charge off on mid tower. Mm. I think we're going to look at drag now. Which is a fantastic play. Cassiopeia just kiting Darius. Looks like they're like they sent her up to try and deal with the Darius. But now Echo has Oh my oh gosh! Oh my god. What oh, but play. he has the Zillion revive. The Zillion. Man, I had it does revive. But and they still Zaya get the kill. with that E kill. See, and now Zaya's starting to look a little bit scary right now. You got the pickaxe, you got the cloak for the critical um chance, and you also have Kraken now, so I mean tanks don't really Wants to get some resistance, which Orange looking pretty. Orange starting to look a little bit solid, but still doesn't have an item yet. See the issue with Orange, even if he's not fed, you get those Orange upgrades. Exactly. So do yep, the Orange upgrades. That. Yep. It's like if anybody on their team ends up fed with an Orange upgrade, yeah. it might pose a little bit of a problem. Pretty scary to be honest, but. But our guys are enough. looking good. Our Darius is four and one, two and zero Maokai, Darius two and one Zaya. Looking We're looking pretty good. It looks like he's um might be going in the mall, um. Which is a good Cassiopa. plan for Cassiopeia. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a good plan. Cassiopeia. <sighs> oh, she went rod. So usually yeah. when I see a Cassiopeia, I, I see them go in the Lyandries, but mm. rod that, makes That's what sense. I would have thought. I would have thought. Rod makes sense. Yeah. Don't know if it was the best play, just because then they don't have that little bit of burn damage to try and if she dies and then someone else dies, but. This is true. But we'll be all right. Cassiopeia is very. Cassiopeia was something very confident, B besides the fact that, well, they're pretty even right now. Um, pretty even right now in mid lane, but the way Cassiopeia plays, it's like, I have my ultimate. I can slither away. You're not touching me. <laughs> like, you're just going to get Kai to any. Oh my goodness, and Kaki trying to, for a play to nearly, nearly nuke the Echo right there. <laughs> but you can tell that both teams, they're, they're fighting, they're, they're trying to get the vision for the Baron, because they know the Baron's up. Looks like Orn finally had enough and left the island on his top lane. And Maokai just wasted no time. He's like, okay, I'm going to make a play on this Aphelios, and he's just got to go. It's just, it is what it is. And Ryze. Orn is definitely, he got a flash off. But yeah. that's a, that was a good flash. It was a very solid flash. Now, 
he's alive and depriving that Orn of any snacks. The no food. That Orn of no any food. Snacks. He's not gonna get any fed. <laughs> They're like, we are not letting you get online, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. And the Orn on okay, so how do you feel about Orn with with Radiance yeah, Virtue? Yeah. I I've never seen him aid it's because I'm a low field player. I get it. But I I just usually don't see Radiance Virtue on Orn. I I mean you're usually going in the like Frostfire Gauntlet. Maybe Jaxo, maybe um definitely hard still. But I can definitely see it working if he gets that um ram ult off. This is true. He's like, I've seen a lot of Orns, they try and ult, and before the ram can even get back to him, the headbutt it in a different direction, he's gone. No, he's deleted. So that gives, him the bit of, <laughs> that gives him the little bit of health bar to stay alive and for enough time to hit that ram back at the enemy. Gotta be careful of this Cassiel, but I mean, you could just cast, look at her presence. The she presence, the it, it's terrifying. They were going for Baron, they saw the Cassiel, and she just makes them back up. We got that Maokai engage on that, I think it was a Philios. Oh, and Maokai just survives and just Can we get the Maokai more. ult off? It's not look like we're going to be engaging on that, though, which I think that is a good, a smart move. Very true. And because of that, they burn Zillion Flash and they burn Zillion's R. If Aphelios didn't get R'd there by Zillion, uh, Aphelios would have died by uh, Maokai's ult. So mm -hmm. this is, that was a fairly good trade, especially since JHU, they're not even going for Baron. That was kind of like... It was almost like, okay, we're going to team fight. We're going to see where we both, where both of us are in the match right now. And we'll just do it like that. But now Darius has them all. And now it's looking scary. You got, you got the match resistance now. It's like, okay, Cassiopa, you can't really do anything to me now. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to see Darius more in these team fights. It, either team fights or a little bit like these solo kills where he catches someone out of position, gives them the boom bap with the bleed, and then go for Baron. But... Oh, looks like Maokai's starting on Baron now. They have no time to waste. They probably know that, okay, some of them are bot side, none of them are top side since Point Park has that vision. So, we I mean, we're just going to go for it. We can absolutely take that. We can burst that. Zillion's trying to look for a play, but Darius with the, with the century, um, century Ward right there. And still. we got Baron. Wow. Leaving out with Baron. Oh, but it's looking very scary for Ryze right now. It does not look good oh, for him. Oh, when Ryze dies, unfortunately, just kind of got caught out of position right there. And now, Point Park doesn't have the Ryze for the Hexatech Dragon. Maybe they could. You know what they might do? They could give up this Dragon. And they could. Possibly push up lanes, but... It does know. look like they're going to be looking for it, though. The way the team is kind of grouped up right there. Yeah, definitely. So it looks like they're going to start trying to head over, try and maybe steal it. Mm. Or I at least they see the data, do not they try make it, though. To I thought they were going to end the game. We'd be like, you know, a group med, we forced to fight, and we just run it down. Which also isn't a bad plan. So it's true. Since they do have the Baron, they could force the team fight and possibly get a lot of value off of that. But it's it's hard because you have the Aphilios. Now the Aphilios has Affinity Edge. Zaya has Affinity Edge as well. But now if you try to go for the Aphilios, especially when you're by yourself, you're probably not winning that fight, especially with his ultimate. Not at all. But as they say, slow and steady wins the race, so... I think Point Park, we're just going to take our time with Definitely. it. Definitely. Help push out this with this Baron buff a little bit. Snowball properly. Snowball properly. Yeah. Personally, I want to see the Darius kind of be like, okay, I'm going to split push, and if anybody comes out to me, you get involved on. That's what, that's what I want to see from the Darius. But as you can see, Darius playing, playing very slow, a little bit of, doesn't really, you could tell, even though he's fed, he's still keeping in mind of the team and keeping in mind of where everyone is. Mm-hmm. It seems like Rise. It's getting caught out by both Cassiopeia and Echo. Gets caught Let's out see if again. We, he can get out of here. Does not look like he has a team around in the fight, but he is distracting those two while there's a team fight going on Definitely. in the mid lane. Orn gets his ult off, but Zaya. And Zaya looking very scary right now with that kiting. She does not have ult right now though, because she used it. Oh, oh, this is unfortunate. But they still have Baron. And we got the Darius split exactly. pushing in the top Besides lane. Besides all this going on. Darius is split pushing and can possibly get this top lane. Echo. But it does look like they're going to start trying to rotate up towards him. He did get the tower, though. Mm. He got tower. I up. mean, I'd like to see the 1v2. I, I would have liked to see the 1v2 with Echo and Orn, but I get it, you know. It's a competitive match. You don't want to do anything rash. Plus, he's the only one alive right now. So this is true. It's probably, it's probably <laughs> really good for point. him to stay That's alive while point. everybody's trying to push in a different lane. And this is this is really crazy. Cassiopeia, I... I felt like the Cassiopeia pick didn't really have much presence in the early game, 
But now, 1-0, and oh, not I mean, when you, when you look at the numbers, when you look at the KDA, there's not really much going on with her, but you see her, and they if they even see her approach, they're like, okay, we're going to back off. That's Cassiopeia. We don't want anything to do with it. But, I mean, as you can see, amazing farm by, um, by JHU, 241 CS, 223. Like, they, they definitely know, okay, maybe we're not up in objectives. Maybe we're not up in kills or two kills down. But we're just going to keep on farming, and we're going to wait for our opportunities, as mm -hmm. they've been doing with the Rise, and they've been catching them. It's looking a little bit. Now you're at the now you're at the point in the game to where it's a little bit quiet. Like there's not not objectives coming up. You're kind of just going around and maybe I mean as you can see the rise in the bot lane right now trying to push up the lane, do a little bit of a split push. But as you can see, Malkai he definitely Malkai definitely wants to do something. Especially now you you want to use that Darius advantage. The Darius is four and one, has the items, is going into Spirit besides. So this is looking very scary right now. We got the whole team bot lane. I think they're going to try and push that out a little bit. Let's see what they're going to get that tower. Yep. Yep. And now Zaya. If they rotate up mid, they just told the enemy that they're down bot. If they start rotating up mid, they can probably try and grab that tower before the, the enemy gets down there. But Let's see, look at Aphilios. That's, that's looking very scary now. Now Aphilios has Lord Dominix. So now he can probably do a ton of damage to Maokai. Like Darius. Aphilios got the first Ornn item with his Kraken Slayer upgrade. Exactly. So this is now, now Aphilios, it's looking like Aphilios is getting online. Pretty scary. But now we're, again, I mean, Point Park's in mid. I mean, both teams are in mid right now, kind of just... Trying to A-RAM it a little bit. Cassiopeia yeah, kind of a little bit of a A-RAM. <laughs> Cassiopeia is coming through the hex, hex gate. Probably going to try and backdoor, not backdoor, um, pinch us off. Yeah. And Cat Cassio's up looking for the play. Orange going in, fully committing to the play. Darius, ooh, very close. Cass Cassio misses her ult. Yes. we. I mean, we love the Cass missed ults. We love it. <laughs> and as you can see, Rise, Rise, pushing up the bot lane, pushing up top lane. Rise is minding his own business while this is all going on. He's like, okay, you guys are going to do what you're going to do, but I'm going to mind my business and just push these lanes. It's the macro. I think it's the macro. Yep. It's the macro. He's playing for those bigger things. He's getting those towers, trying exactly. to get those waves pushed up, get those priorities. Oh, and I, uh, that is so unfortunate for Karm to get caught. They were waiting in that bush for her, and that that but was Malka rough. Does get the kill on Echo. This is very huge, especially with the Zaya ult, and Zaya with the all. Back. I mean, so comp. Oh, oh and she Zaya. did not get the E off. That is unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. If you pull those knives back, I I want to say that that might be two kills on the Aphelios and the Orn. Maybe not the Orn, but definitely the Aphelios. Definitely. That's now it's three v. It's a three v four. Team J2 is very low, a little bit half health, but it, it seems like, like Point they are going to get that dragon off, which leaves them at soul point. Ooh, but it seems like Point Park is going to try to trade. Okay, they're going to get dragon. We're going to try to go for Baron, but I don't think. No, they're, they're just looking at vision at Baron. If Point Park goes, I don't think they can Baron, fight this right now. Yeah. The entire enemy team is alive right now. Cass is, is alive. Aphelios is alive. Exactly. If they can manage to get a pick on at least one of those two. Baron is an option, but with those two alive, it is way exactly. too risky. And now, as of, I mean, now the Orn, we can, we're starting to see the Orn kind of get online now with these team fights. Orn is starting to commit. He's like, okay, I have my ultimate. I'm going to go in for my team, and I'm going to make space for Cassiope and Aphelios to do their job. Mm -hmm. So this is this is looking very scary right now. I mean, if you get caught by the Orn ult, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> it's just <laughs> you get knocked up, and it's constantly, you get the root, get stunned by the Cassiope ult with the Zillion um. Zillion, oh, what did you say about the word? The bombs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bombs. Get caught with a zillion bombs, just annoying. And Karma trying to go for a tether right here. Oh, they do get wow. the pick off on that Echo, though. And Echo is just, Echo's getting caught. It's almost like Point Park's rise. They're just getting caught out of position at, it seems like, the worst times. And you wanted, you wanted Echo to be alive right there. Now that's a free ban. Now they can't contest. But it seems like Orn. Orn is like, all right, whatever. But now... We got the Maokai ult to try and zone them off. It does look like we left Baron fast. alone for a moment. Oh, and oh, Zillion great ult. Great focus on the Aphilios. But oh. the Zillion ult did not come in clutch. It looks like he still got killed after all. That was a Darius still alive. This could be very crucial. You don't want Cassiope to do anything more. 
to the team, and Cassio was just kiting, just constantly kiting. And he got the kill off on the Karma. Oh, now you can see Cassiopeia just constantly. Yep. Oh. And the enemy my. got the ace, and they get that Baron. That is unfortunate. Cassiopeia five. Oh, see, this is what's really crazy right now is that Cassiopeia was minding her own business in the laning phase. I mean, just playing the fundamentals of the game, getting the CS, but now Cassiopeia is truly online. Level 17. Level 17. <laughs> Looking very scary right now. I'm not sure if John John Noob is the right name for her. Yeah, no. Look, he's looking like the Cassio, but I keep forgetting that it's, that it's John John the Noob. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just going to call him JJ for the rest of this set, to be honest. JJ. I was about to say John John, it's a little oh? bit crazy, but it seems like we have a little bit of some technical difficulties right now. I, it's happened last year as well. I mean, it's the league client. It's known for being Buggy just being and an dumb. It. Yeah, <laughs> just being buggy. <laughs> really weird. Um, but I want to talk about just the advantages that now JHU, JHU has. Point Park was looking really solid at one point, but now JHU is. JHU just kind of came out of nowhere. Now they're they taking that, over. They left that Cassiopeia yeah, alone. They way left too Cassiopeia long. alone. Okay, yeah. and it looks like we're back online. Alrighty. Now JHU, three dragons. Now you're at the point of soul, as you mentioned earlier. It's do you think do you think that's gonna be hard for Point Park to come back from this if they don't secure the soul? If they don't secure the school soul, I do think that they will have a very difficult time mm. trying to come back for this. Especially dealing with the Cassiopeia. If that Cassiopeia gets that chain. Oh my goodness. It's it's going to be rough. As you can see, Cassiopeia, I mean practically full build now, which that's that's not fun. That's that's not fun to deal with. Now, if you get hit by that, hopefully Cassiopeia, um, J J J misses his ults, but as he should. And and look at that. Uh, Rise got caught up. Oh, but the ult. Uh, but and Rise and we got the teleport the from. Poison. I think that was Orn. Does Orn have Orn has the teleport. Yep. And now Orn really showing his presence right now. He's like, all right, I'm gonna tank. Just I'm just gonna walk up. <laughs> just, I'm gonna do my I'm thing. Gonna do anything. I'm just gonna walk up and just do my thing. But it seems like JHU is looking to end the game right now, possibly. And this is, oh, now it's looking like a slaughter fest right now. Now it is not looking good for our boys. JHU two in hips. They're securing two in hips with the Baron. Great use of Baron right there. It does look like they're backing off now, though. They aren't going to go any further than just the two in hips. Definitely not. But we do have to stay back and try and clear out those waves and push out those waves because. Next minion uh, wave, they're going to be having those super minions, and that is not going to look good. The super minions are not going to... And as we were talking about, the souls coming up in 20 seconds. JHU has the minion in priority. It's, it's looking very rough for Point Park right now. Possibly a third in hip, considering what the Orn does. It, um, it looks like they're trying to clean out our base. Yeah. And see that they're getting fairly successful at cleaning out the base. And Maokai level 14 trying to do something here but it's gonna be really hard especially with Orin level 17 and Cassiopeia is level 18 now so but Darius going in gets a good route but as you Maokai see Maokai goes in but does not live to tell the tale and Zayo some good good ult but ends up not, not being enough. able it's not enough and it seems like it seems like that might that might be game that might be first game I love how Echo is just minding his business, just like, all right. Okay, so. Zion and Darius going in, but as Cassiopeia had oh, the Zillion ult off. Enough. Yep. Might not be enough. And it is not. It's crazy. They get those towers. None of us are going to be alive in enough time to clear that wave. This is crazy how Cassiopeia just, I mean, Cassiopeia nearly just took over, like, to be honest. And this the execute in the fountain. Yeah. Got the more salt into the wound. <laughs> more salt into the wound. Make the wound deeper, but... That was difficult to watch. Yeah, that was um, that was tough. That made me sad a little bit. Not yeah. gonna lie, but um, second game, Cassiopeia definitely should be uh should be banned. Should be just taken off. Pick or ban. Either actually, either that or maybe I don't think the rise. Maybe maybe this was just me, but I coming from the game, it doesn't seem like Rise had a lot of a lot of impact. Not really. That game, Not like really. yeah, yeah, no. I, I feel awful <laughs> about saying it, but like no, it feels awful. But I mean, when you're looking, wasn't really a lot, lot of usage. 
with the rise ultimate and when he tried to use the rise ultimate it was only for when he got mispositioned but mm -hmm. still died at the end i definitely would have loved to see i wasn't gonna say casting but jhu they banned casting which that's fairly smart but maybe hmm. maybe next game we can try and get something like a galio in there yeah, someone who has a little bit more of a health galio. bar yeah but it's it's weird because even the coach said that they were trying to do something different instead of doing tanks utility and having only one damage which is the abc mm -hmm. they want to do a little bit of aggressive more aggressive play style to have a little bit of a stronger laning phase into the mid game than instead of just relying on the end game but going off of how jhu plays i'm thinking okay let's get the util get the tank and we just we just ball on them just by out damp i mean I just by out sustaining them I think having Kakid on the Darius was a great play. No, it was that a great was, pick. We have yeah, the aggression in the top pick. lane. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we need a little bit more utility or something in the mid laner. Definitely. Something to give Definitely. Highway a little bit of health so that when he is mispositioned, when he is pushing yeah. those lanes and getting that macro, he has something to kind yeah. of back himself up. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just trying to say this to make myself feel better. But if it would look, man, if it was anybody but Rise, that mid lane would have been balled on. That's all I'm gonna say. I think it would have been a wrap for mid lane. I mean Yeah. Personally, I think my boy Highway nerfed himself with the rise, but you know it's it's a coach's call. You know they they have the plays, they have the layouts, and I'm I'm just I'm just a silver gold player. I don't know much, so I mean, that's yeah, that's just me. But definitely, yeah, the Darius picked out. That was really good. I that was enjoy. I I was enjoying that. That was really fun. I think maybe the only only thing that they could have done possibly is, I would have definitely liked to see Darius split us a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think. I think personally, Darius could have been a little bit more confident. It seemed like he was a little bit hesitant when, whenever he pushed lane, he'll be like, "Okay, I'm gonna clear the lane. I'm gonna try to team fight." But when it comes to when it comes to Bruiser champions like Darius, like Mordekaiser, like Set, like um, like Fiora, that's that's their. I mean, their whole point of the character is, "Okay, I'm gonna push this lane, and if you're gonna fight me, then you're gonna fight me. And you're gonna, I'm gonna make you commit to it, literally." Mm -hmm. So I, that would have been fun to see. I think it would have been maybe, especially having Baron. Instead of Darius um, being with the team, yeah, having him up in the, the top team. lane or even exactly. the bot lane. Yeah. Kind of take him to split. Time to take him to split push and would have got an inhib, to be honest. But it's all right. I mean, Kakid is very, his play style is very team oriented. It's it's a lot of, I'm going to make plays for my team and do this. But um, if they have him on Darius again or if they have him on, on Mordekaiser or any Bruiser champion that's a bit of a solo fragger, so to say, then I, I want to I wanna see him use that to his advantage. So. But um, I want to see Sajjuani in top lane. I think that I think that'd be a good pick, especially when, especially when you have like that one character, especially like Cassiopa, that's just a menace, just like just annoying and just ruining the gameplay for everybody. Honestly, oh, absolutely. <laughs> just because of the character. Absolutely. And, I mean the way the way JJ used them used her, it's uh, I mean it was very good. They they just farmed. That was like. I mean that that was just peak of just fundamentals of league right there. It's just I'm gonna farm until the opportunities come up, and I'm gonna keep it moving. And then by the end of it, looking like an absolute monster, being level 18 by like 30 or so minutes. So um, we should have the second game uh, coming up uh, very soon. But let's see. What do you think that we should um we should go? With? Should it be more defensive utility or? I think we should have like an even mix of everything because I feel mm. like. The last time we were, like, I was watching games from last season, it was a lot mm. of utility, it was a lot of defense, yeah. but we didn't have a lot of damage. We didn't have a lot of any of that else. For this game, we had a lot of aggression, but we didn't have a lot of utility, and we didn't have a lot of defense. Mm. I think if we're having Kakid on the Darius or some other type of bruiser, somebody mm. who's aggressive, who can get that lane down, Definitely. support is a bit of a hard one because karma has the utility but she didn't have the defense to back it up yeah maybe if we can find a support that has both defense and um utility i think Definitely. maybe that might round it out a little bit karma karma was looking i mean karma was looking very solid but then karma was trying to go in for the tethered and i mean the team was just like okay you're gonna tether you're gonna tether us jhu was like okay we're gonna one hit you for tethering our teammate mm -hmm. and then i mean point park will leave away with a pick but at the cost of three or four of them dying so Maybe or maybe if we built like different items on the karma. No, I feel like we could have seen that radiant virtue. Yes, 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 yes. Instead of being like a pokey karma, maybe something like yeah, radiant virtue or. Because Shirelia's 
fantastic item. This is true. Yeah. I think, but you have to look at the enemy team and have to look at how much exactly. damage they're dealing and mm -hmm. what they're doing to your team. Exactly. Yeah. Tanky. Yeah. Tanky Karma definitely would have. I, I didn't even think about that. That was the radiant virtue. You solid, can. Yeah. When you pop your R, you have it on the tether. You get a little bit of health bar. Not only are you having that health bar when you're tethering people and like you're also, not gonna get immediately one yeah, shot maybe exactly. two shot but like yeah maybe two shot but the, <laughs> like, that, that's what matters in a game like this that's, as a long as you have survivability yeah. exactly so yeah i have uh, but i definitely want to see um i want to see the shen like I, <sighs> you want to see the shen it on shen if the shen cost us the game we got a sedge money ban make me sad but really they banned wow they don't want anything to do with that sedge money and we're keeping up with that Ash ban. Yeah, you, I mean, I, I understand that. You know, Ash is doing any business with the Ash. Ban Maokai. That's um. Not a bad play on their part. That's not a bad play at all, because Maokai was... Um, Ralts was definitely giving ban. problems, um, especially in the in the early um, laning phase. I want to see that Cassiopeia ban. Maybe yeah. that's just me, but like... But they might be feeling like how we are is where... Cassiopeia really wasn't doing that much mm -hmm. if we just had another laner than Rise. So that might be Point Park's play, or they might just ban Cassiopeia because she was a problem. She was a Or, like I said, problem. maybe try and do like a pick it before they can ban it. This, no, oh, we'll pick it before smart. they can pick it. Yep. So I think it's smart. <laughs> and the Shen ban. I want to see, oh, we can't I wanna see. see the Shen. I want to see the Shen. It's we do not get Shen on. The I swear I'm a Point Park student. I promise you I am, <laughs> but I, I wanted to see the Shen. All right. We have first picks. JH is picking us. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what the Shen it says. The They're going to pick the Wukong. Okay. Okay. And let's see what we got. This is going to be interesting because now that, I mean, that's a Wukong has a very strong team fight ability. Mm -hmm. and he's difficult to play against yeah difficult very annoying Especially even in top with the clones. lane yeah the it clones. might just be me but i can never tell when wukong is the right it's one. annoying we got a lulu pick i love that love it i respect it i think i think lulu will definitely besides karma will definitely shift the team fights and if we get the vi i love it lulu I'm ult on vi that. yes it's crazy depending on how vi plays I a, don't hate the Viego though. Oh, I, don't. I don't hate the Viego pick, but I oh, definitely. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right, all right. We got we got the vibe. I was, I was like a little bit, a little bit scary right there. All right. I mean, Viego's a, a solid pick, but Vi is just. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, yeah, that made me sad when we saw the Twitch. <laughs> they're just hovering supports now. Yeah, they're definitely definitely looking to see. But if they go Zyra, then I mean, that Zyra is a hit or miss champ. I definitely. love Zyra as a support, mm. but she does fall off. Really? A little bit. Like true. if you're not, if you don't have a good early game, oh uh, true, yeah, then you were kind of screwed over for the long run. But we got the Kaisa pick instead. Oh no, Kaisa, that's that's dangerous because I mean Kaisa, the, her ability to scale is insane, just unreal. Like you could go, you could literally, I, I've seen it before. The Kaisa will be zero and four. You go up, it's 20 minutes. The Kaisa is one shotting your entire team. And it's with like, just what? a Q. She'll just, yes, just run a Q. up it's Q. Like, and then what's you don't happening? Oh, but we got an Amumu pick on their team, too. No, Amumu, that, that's definitely going to be Kaisa Amumu combo. Uh, yep. Maybe it would be Amumu a jungle. I, I'm hoping I for that Amumu jungle. Amumu support is disgusting. Yeah, very annoying to deal with. But we do have the Lulu support, which, I mean, if Amumu and the, if Kaisa and Amumu try to dive... Um, whichever ADC that we pick, you have the Lulu ultimate to fall back on. Of course, you don't want to waste it, but I mean... Or even the... Um, oh, we got a Jinx. Jinx. I'm loving that. Loving to see the Jinx. Jinx, Jinx is good fed. for scaling as well. Exactly. You have to pick something that's going to keep up with the Kaisa scale because no matter what happens in the game, Kaisa's going to scale and you, they got to be ready for it. And with the Jinx, as long as... If we can get Jinx at least two kills... Oh, yeah. Golden, absolutely yeah, golden. Yeah, Botlane, Botlane should be golden. I'm, I feel a little bit weird with this Yone pick. I just don't, I don't know. I, I don't think we would have seen Yone in this set of matches, but maybe because we keep on banning them. I'm not really sure. Um, Definitely the Zillion ban, I think that was a, how do you feel about that? See, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think. I feel like he doesn't like, have a lot of presence, to be honest, in no. like, in last game. So I, and plus, we already have our support pick. Oh, unless I just unless Highway has played Zillion mid 
a couple of times. I Honestly, think maybe they're trying I'm to look out right. for that. JHU, they banned Zillion. Yeah. That's that's even more weird because <laughs> Boyfuck doesn't even use Zillion. So it's just, okay, I guess they were like, okay, we don't want to. We don't want Zillion mid. But they are. But I mean, Zillion mid have... is like not yeah, fantastic. Not like it's good, mm. but I don't think it's what we're looking for. This is true. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, but they got the twisted oh, fate. Oh, they man. banned the twisted fate. They were like, yep, we we totally nearly forgot about the comfort pick. Let's take us out. <laughs> Let's take it out real quick. We cannot. Oh, the Lissandra. The Lissandra. Yes. I would love to see this. Especially if even we get that Cassiopeia again, that Lissandra ult. Exactly. It can either Lissandra save ultimate. Lissandra mm -hmm. or save the team. Exactly. Which is, it's what we need. <laughs> and if mid lane gets ganked for whatever reason, Lissandra has that beautiful escape that she can get out of. Oh, but they're looking at a the Vagar. The Vagar mid. I mean, the Vagar. It could be Vagar is support. It... I would, Gail, I would lose my mind. <laughs> it was. I think it's Steal the Rise. Really? They they're going to go Rise? Rise. Really? Is... I think, I just... they think they're like, we're going to show you how to play Rise. Yeah, no, they're going to be like, yeah, we're going to show you guys how to play Rise, how to properly hopefully play. We, hopefully we can step on them so they this don't is... get the... Yeah, I don't. You know what? I don't want to say Ego Pick because that's just dumb. Uh, that doesn't make sense, but I'm, it I'm surprised. Could be. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I want to see. I would not put it past yeah. the League of Legends player. Um, I'm just. Oh, but we have the Tom, Tom Kench. Kench. Now the top lane matchup. How how is this gonna work? You have the Tom Kench for the team fight, which makes it nearly. I mean, this is gonna be a really hard team fight. They have it a could lot be of a tanky. Tom Kench support though. It's so oh, hard to gracious. tell who's Tom going well. Support. Where? That's just scary. Because Tom can go support or top. Amumu can be support. Or, or jungle, jungle. Yeah. and Wukong can be top or jungle. I love, I I love the Darius pick. I I yeah, do like I think the Darius. Darius. That was that's a good. It's gonna be a pretty good matchup between Darius and Tom Kench, but it's gonna be hard as well it because Tom, be Kench Tom Kench can Kench. Tom Kench can can basically soak up the damage just like Orin, and it might be a little bit case of okay, JHU, Senate is gonna be like, I mean Senate. I don't know why I keep saying Senate. I'm sorry. I'm a weeb. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But Senna's going to be like, okay, I'm going to go 0 and 5 again. Sucks to suck. But then it hits like 15 minutes and it's like, all right, now I'm going to ball on your team and make mm. um and be the front line for my team. So this will be really this It be is going to be the Amumu support. Yeah, it's going to be Amumu support. Okay. That is disappointing to see. Yeah, that that's going to be – it's going to be – again, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting matchup between, uh, between bot lane once again. Hopefully they can keep the Kaisa at bay just until I want to say 15 minutes. Kaisa maybe has about one or two kills, nothing too crazy. But then again, coming from Abinam, this player from JHU is very, very confident. Maybe in his mechanical ability, because with the Philios, he was doing whatever he wanted. He was like, "Okay, I'm gonna kite you. I'm gonna do the rotation. I'm gonna do anything I want to." But with Kaisa, you can't really do that. Mm -hmm. And Kaisa's early, Kaisa's early isn't really that strong. It's almost you have to stomp on Kaisa's early to make sure that Kaisa doesn't get ahead. But if Kaisa gets ahead in early, and then it gets a little bit scary. Like it's like, oh my gosh, you have Kraken Slayer and Lethality. What do I do? Because it's scary when you go into Kraken Slayer and then you go into Collectors, and it's like, okay, this Kaisa is gonna start nuking the back line. At least, at least on the bright side. AP Kaisa is no longer valid in Summoner's Rift. Thank goodness. I feel like there would be a serious problem if you can still one-shot W people. Yeah, this is true. That... Get it off cooldown. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a, what a terrible time for League of that, that was so bad. That was just... That was such a meme, but it worked. And it was just... It was, it was scary. So, yeah, very, very scary. This is very true. But the Amumu pick, I think the Amumu pick is going to be... That's going to be annoying, especially when fighting for the objectives. And now Point Park doesn't have the Maokai for the fights, which I think that was very huge, especially when it came. I mean, he even did it for a couple times. Routes would go in, tower dive to just secure the pick. But now Routes is on a little bit more of a solid um, jungler, not more so of a tanky jungler. Could could make her tanky. But if I could see... She I mean, does got a lot of health if she starts building exactly. up Divine and everything. Mm -hmm. She can come in just... Punch. Oh yeah, Divine. I think Divine Center would definitely be the play here. Maybe uh, Radiant. Maybe Radiant's Virtue. I can see Radiant Virtue. I can see uh, it. Yeah, that that depends. Since like her know. whole ult includes her diving into the entire exactly. team. So I mean, Radiant Virtue. It would make sense, especially now we. I mean, now we have the sustain with Lulu. 
I, I personally, I think the Lulu pick is going to – it's going to change the ball game for team fights for Point Park. It's oh, gonna, absolutely. Especially for Darius. Oh, my gosh. If Darius – my boy Darius gets bet again, and now we're not dealing with a Cassie opener where he gets kited trying to walk up. He gets pop ghost and the Lulu wall and pentakill. It's a wrap. Like – Maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself, but... I want to see a giant Darius just running exactly. down the lane. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we're on the same page. I want to see it. I literally want to see it. But, I, I mean, I'm loving this gameplay from Kakiides. He's playing very solid. A complete game, like, a complete change of game, of play style that I've seen from practices. So, I'm I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving this, this top lane gameplay right now. And But now, I want to see mid lane shine. I want to, I want to see him really show... Um, Really show his his true colors, if you will. There we go. I'm I'm trying to I'm like shifting through the files in my head. I'm trying to look for it. I couldn't find it. So. Words like on the tip of your tongue. Yes, like... exactly. I'm just I'm I'm so excited. I'm enjoying this, even though first map was first. I said first map. Oh my gosh. I'm first sorry. I'm, I'm getting ready for Valorant. That's <laughs> I'm sorry. But um yeah, first game. I don't think it, I don't think it was rough. I think it was fairly close. It just it was a matter of it was a matter of macro and micro. From, they snowballed uh, a little bit harder. Yeah, they just snowballed a little bit harder. So we had a beautiful early game. Everything yeah. looked like it was going in place. It was beautiful. Just Cassiopeia existed. Yeah. And there's nothing we could have did about that. And you know what's funny? The Cassiopeia missed like seven freaking alts and but still like got still got. The bad. issue was every time she hit an ult, she yeah. got a kill. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent got a kill. Took advantage of of the ultimate for mm -hmm. sure. But, Which I think it's probably good that she missed like three ults in the beginning of the game because I feel like we would have yeah. been screwed over a lot earlier if she had yeah. been hitting those ults. I, I could I could just tell from like from JJ. He's probably looking. He was like, he was like, man, if I just hit that ult, the game would have been over by like 15 minutes. Like <laughs> he's sitting there <laughs> seething, like seething, like I ended this earlier. I missed it. I missed R again. Missed <laughs> like, but um, the Vigard mid, I. I, I feel like that's a hit. That's gonna be a hit. What is that? Oh, it was a tech timeout. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll go get a little bit of tech timeout. You know, Lee client uh, being Lee client is uh, being very dumb right now. So, let's see, what are we able to talk about? We have Valorant. Just as a reminder, we have Valorant going on at six o'clock. It's gonna be huge. If you want to see our boys play, my boy Yoshi's gonna be going crazy. Creep. He's a god as a IGL. We got cursed on there. Looking really solid. My boy, Salsi goes by Habibi, though. Very solid. And we had a lot of fun. We had, we had a, a great time last night. A um, little bit rough, but it's all right. We were actually we were actually against the people who won um, who won the tournament back in the fall semester. Really? Valorant. Yeah, so basically number one team. So, um, But it was it was fairly close. It wasn't a blowout. So I, I'm excited to see um, how Valorant plays. But hopefully we can... Um, Get back to it. I'm trying to see my boy Darius go crazy <laughs> and like the like we're getting put on hold. Like even even us as the casters we're getting put on hold. I want to see it. JJ didn't want to see the giant Darius run down the lane. Oh yeah. I'm no, blaming JJ, JJ, JJ for it. it. Yeah, JJ was like, okay, we're gonna disconnect this guy. Uh he <laughs> went, he went like six and two last game. We're gonna have we, to we put don't, him we over. don't wanna see him. We don't we don't wanna see that. But even speaking of that, see now I have something to talk about. Speaking of that, do you think J2 is going to gank top lane a little bit more? I think so. Do you, do you think I think that, they're that's gonna a try like like I think they know like we left them alone last time, well, I left them alone. and that did not really go well for them. We they had a we had a fed Darius. Yeah, but then again, had a fed Darius in early and mid, but the Darius kind of left the top lane alone. Didn't really have a lot of top lane pressure, so they could again just be like, okay, um, even if the Darius gets fed, like just let him be because we know that he's not gonna push the lane down. He's mm -hmm. gonna try to team fight. And we're just gonna we're gonna win the team fight in general. It so. didn't help that Cassiopeia came onto the island and was like, "I have arrived." Yeah, that was, I think that down. was pretty annoying. Yeah, Cassiopeia definitely st stayed in top lane for for a good minute and just kind of prevented Darius from split pushing. So mm -hmm. that's that's a very good point. I did not take that into consideration. Cassiopeia, oh my gosh, she sorry. didn't respect it. Grab a sorry, it's gonna look a little bit weird, a little bit of a zip. <laughs> And that Red Bull is empty. By the way, it's sponsored by Red Bull. I'm uh, quite literally addicted to it, but my uh, my can is empty, so that's uh, that's a little bit depressing. It's but unfortunate. I'm sure you guys don't care, but uh, it's it's depressing for me because I'm I like Red Bull and uh, it's good. 
But uh, yeah, um, you go to campus here. You want to tag along if you're interested in esports. Want to get into uh, casters and crew, or if you want to actually be a player, or even be a sub for the team, and uh, learn learn about the game that you want to play. We're competitive in Rocket League, competitive in League, and we're competitive in Valorant. Those are our top three games. So if you have fun on it and you think that you can give it a shot, then come over. You know, we're very welcoming, very nice people. You could talk to Gail. That's that's Gail's pretty solid. I mean, that's a plus. <laughs> like, there we go. <laughs> like, you know, we could do that. But Plus, you can get the free Red Bull. Free merch if you free get merch. too involved. I mean, you know, hashtag ad. You got a, got a hoodie. <laughs> I got a bag that's... uh Not in here right now. Not in here, but it's okay. But there's a bag. <laughs> exactly. There's a bag. So, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Great>. so, <laughs> told by the director to keep on going. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what to talk about anymore. I, well, I'm not sure what's what's happening. I'm um, getting a little bit concerned because they, they're probably like... I want to say they're probably like eight minutes in right now, and we don't know what's happening. So it makes me. I mean, unless they're not even sad. in the game right now. That's just true. If they're not even in the game, then I mean, everybody's getting delayed. Mm -hmm. So. But it was so weird. We got through draft just fine, and then this something went wrong. Yeah, it's just, My it, only it's guess just is maybe goes. like somebody DDoSed in the. No. No, I don't want to say DDoSed. That's a. I meant disconnected. Yeah. I absolutely meant disconnected. I was just <laughs> oh, that was the gamer lingo. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. That's, they don't even mean the same thing. I was just thinking about true. two completely separate things. But I mean, um, maybe someone disconnected while after the champ select or while know, loading in. And now I'll they're just you, trying uh, to get everybody back in. I'll give you a story. We got pretty far. League got pretty far uh, last year. And in the season, possibly could have went to playoffs. But because of a situation like this, because of Flint Park's internet, Oh. We weren't able to go. Three more minutes, all right. But anyways, um, we got close, and but because we could, just couldn't get the internet back online, we had to forfeit the match. Really? Yep. It, it was pretty rough because we they um we won the first set. And we were going into the second game, but we couldn't ever go into that second game. And then at that point, um, had some of our players uh they they graduated, and that was the end of an era. So it was. That is rough. See, now I think about crying right now, but it's okay. That's all right, you know. It's okay. A little bit, a little bit of a somber moment, but uh, you know, I, I like to spice it up. I like to get funny. I like to get serious. I like to get a little bit sad. You're getting a variety of things here, guys, in this casting. All right, that's what comes to the plus when you're dealing with me and Gail. All right, that's that's we're gonna be dealing with this the entire semester. We're getting you guys set up. You know, um, I am dying to watch the game right now. To be honest with you, I understand I'm a caster. But as a, as a gamer and as a league gamer, I, I, I'm trying I to, see, to the see the game. Yeah, I'm trying to see the I game. Mean, we're here for one reason, and that is to <laughs> watch the, the game and comment on it. Literally, because most likely I'll probably play league until 4 a.m. today. Honestly, that would be, you know, the regular 9 to 5 shift on the game. But <laughs> nine to five. Yeah, the 9 to 5, you know. <laughs> so my friends call it on the game. Like on games like a Valorant or like any competitive game, <laughs> we're just like, yep, back in the 9 to 5 shift. I mean, yeah, you start 9 p.m. Yes, the Red Bulls. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. We just got it from my boys, from my crew. They gave us uh, gave us Red Bulls. And I'm popping one right now because I, I am. You got it? I got it. <laughs> go. I, don't think, I don't think I've ever had, like, a plain Red Bull. To be honest, it tastes absolutely horrible. But, um, we can't say that. We're sponsored. Oh, okay. So it, it tastes amazing, actually. It's fantastic. It tastes, it, it tastes absolutely amazing. It actually is pretty good. But um, I, I'm see, I'm used to the flavored ones, so I, so the original one, I'm not I'll say I'm not very a fan of. But I mean, it's Red Bull, regardless. It's Red Bull. It's energy. I mean, I've had it like mixed in the drinks and everything. No, maybe like, I could but like, I... like zoom it. Together, <laughs> you, know? you know what I'm saying? Red Bull. Red Bull, it's so versatile. All right, now Put it in so... cranberry juice. You have it in cranberry juice. It's fantastic. Just cranberry juice. Cranberry juice and Red Just Bull. Cranberry Just juice? cranberry juice. That's. I'm a little bit spectacle of that, but um, I'll try. No, it. straight up cranberry juice, cranberry Red Bull. And just, and I know if you had something like peachy in there, there's a chance it could start tasting like Kool Aid. Mixing like... drinks now. What? So you mixing drinks? <laughs> like juices, yeah. No, we'll leave that be. No, we'll leave. We'll leave that topic. Like be. cranberry, get some like peach juice in there, mm. or like white cranberry and peach. You white put white cranberry, cranberry and peach. peach. That is probably one of my favorite juices. You add some Red Bull really? in there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Makes it a little bit fizzy. Drink Monster. I've never actually drank Monster, no. See, I heard Monster was, like, highly healthy and, like, makes your heart explode. But I apparently that's what, like, every energy drink. So, it's just kind of a gamble that gamers make. So, mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like a deal with the devil, to be honest. Oh, 
like a snap. This is like a little bull in the cap. Yeah, it's like a bull in the cap. I mean, the the design is fairly well. Sorry for the ad for Red Bull right now, but um, you just got to deal with it until we get legal in line. I gotta make sure the logos facing forwards all the way. Yeah, we there got we the go. logo facing. All right, here we go, in man. The game. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. Let's get some action. We're getting action from JHU. Gets a little bit of damage from Wukong. Wukong is just going all in right now. Oh, but it looks like they are going to back lot. off, yeah. which is... Okay, Lissandra. Oh. Popping the bone. Amumu's bone up here. What's he doing up I just here? Amumu just rolling. I hate that guy, man. <laughs> like, Amumu looks so annoying. I hate him in particular. And this is why this is why Amumu and the Lord doesn't have friends. Because he walks around like that, like an absolute jerk, just messing with people. <laughs> Like, imagine you're minding your business and all of a sudden you turn around yeah, and they're like, yeah. he's just like crying. It's just like a little crying guy, a little sad face. Like, dude, this is why we don't have friends, man. <laughs> okay, and so I'm excited. I'm I'm actually excited to see how JHU is gonna use Rise, um, especially just especially seeing like how Point Park used Rise, you no. Know? And so, I mean, to be honest, it feels like an ego pick. I don't want to say it because that's really that seems unprofessional. But it definitely seems like an ego pick. But here we go. Now everybody's just kind of chilling, you know. Everybody's just saying hi to each other right now. Um, uh, is that Battle Academy Darius skin? I uh, know that looks like Lunar Beast. Lunar Beast. Okay. I'm not a fan of that skin, but it's all right. I and think a than battle. comes oh out my of God. nowhere, and they are just oh, falling It does not look right good now. for our Jinx. Wow, and, and then Lulu's been, behind them, but they get out alive. Get out alive, but at the cost of so much damage being dealt. It's not even five minutes into the game yet. So they got our Jinx's Flash and her cleanse. Darius and Tom Kennedy's playing a little bit safe. That's understandable because, I mean, they can both. They're both really strong. Um, they're, they're, their level one is both really strong. Tom Kennedy can soak up also do a lot of damage, especially after the third. Of, after his third. I'm not sure if it's a QE or a W. But uh, he gets that stun off, and Amumu just making so much space for Kaisa to farm freely. And this is what you don't want. You don't want Kaisa to have this type of pressure, especially in the early game when she already has a lot of pressure in the end game. And Amumu, again, having so much prio. Ooh, Ooh, and and the the oh, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. It seems like that's going to be Maybe Jinx kill. can get that. Nope, another nope. kill oh, for and Kaisa. It's a double. Oh, that wow. is rough. That's, this is going to be a tough. Um, it's going to be a tough bot lane. And mm -hmm. as you can see, Amumu, because of how Lulu is, you don't have... don't Point Park doesn't have that lane pressure like they did last game. And so Amumu can just walk up for free because it's like, okay, it's just a Lulu. I mean, it's only Lulu purpose has hook, but it's not enough to keep yeah, that Amumu back. As, oh, oh, it looks like Darius my is goodness. And Darius invading. with the amazing ego that I'm seeing right now. Like, but it looks like he is going to back off, which is not a bad move. Because there goes Tom Kench. Oh no. Darius playing this fairly solid right now, but it could be the cost. Oh, and Darius gonna get he, out there alive and made honestly made Wukong waste a lot of time. He got his wave pushed up there too. Yep. And it's looking mid lane's looking pretty even right now. Um Lissandra got Rise pushed up. A massive gap already starting the show in the bot lane, unfortunately, and you and giving Kaisa two kills. It See, that's the so thing. Unfortunate. That's, that's unfortunate. Amumu comes back down out of the river as if he was a jungler. Yep, and Kaisa has Kaisa has the quiver now, and it's not even still not even five minutes. You're dealing with a Kaisa has a quiver already. That's looking very dangerous. She's got a level on our Jinx, which is worrying. But I believe. The, oh, Amumu is just walking. He's just walking. Amumu is walking up for free. Oh just my making god. So much, I mean, oh, he's and soaking. Kaisa gets the other kill. And Amumu just Amumu walks back in. back in. Oh my gosh. Why is he allowed to do that? It's just. It's Our Vi is coming down. It does look like we oh, might be yeah. able to get a pick off. Oh, yeah. Vi's Oh, yes. Oh, and she gets Love the Kaisa. Okay, Darius, let me. Show me something. Show me something, my boy. And Darius is taking a lot of damage right now because he doesn't have that wave control. And, I mean, minions in the early game. They hit for a lot, especially when someone like Tom Kench has just a lot of that, just that slow push. It's very hard to go against. But I think against the Darius matchup, going Tom Kench was a pretty solid pick. I mean, Tom Kench is basically, in my opinion, is like a counter for like all bruisers, all mm -hmm. bruiser matchups, to be honest. So it's just, just annoying to deal with. 
I will say, I have not played Tom Kench in a normal game, but I've had a little bit of experience touching Tom Kench in a ram And it was nasty. Yeah. Like, even I didn't even know what I was doing, and I was just <laughs> running up to people, and I was doing damage. Well, I'm like, I shouldn't be allowed to do this. You're probably doing, you're probably doing the right thing to be honest. <laughs> so you can I, just was, do I should not good. have been allowed to do that, but it looks like Kaki is doing good damage, damage on him. He is going to run away, but oh, he gets the flash on him, blast, and he has the like, Darius bleed, ooh, and he gets the kill. My boy Kaki, duh! The Shannon ain't got nothing. Just get to it, man. Look at him move. Look at him. He's just, he's just creeping in the corner. You know, he's probably under 5'2". Probably. No, definitely like 4 feet. Is that a loser? <laughs> All right, no, never. <laughs> I can't All say right. anything. I'm but, literally 5'2". Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but JHU has a lot of a lot of bot lane prio. Kaisa, 3 and 1, looking very strong right now. And as you can see, um, mid lane looking... I mean, it, w it was like this before, though. Mid lane was looking fairly even. And then it hit about... 10 to 15 minutes and you could start seeing the gap do you honestly think that point park is going to give up this first dragon and just kind of uh, keep farming in peace see i'm not sure i feel like giving it up would be the smart play mm. but i can also see the thought behind going in for it like yeah everything's pushed up and vi probably has enough damage to get it half done without any help as you can see a mumu he's a, a moon was looking for it a mumu is fairly thirsty looking Looking like the ADC right now, to be honest. <laughs> like, well, as you can see, it's a uh, even though Jinx is to be honest, ideally Jinx isn't down by that much. It's the Lulu getting caught mm -hmm. that's uh, kind of put this bot lane in a bad spot. Top position, exactly. And V Vi trying to look for a gank, but unfortunately the wave was pushed up, so couldn't get a solid gank there but it that's seems a like interesting angle to go for a gank for yeah, Vi is still but I, I think it's gonna help with the push mm. it's helping them with the push they're going get for that drag bot priority yep they're trying to get the bot priority to go and um run around to drag yep. that does look like where they're going heading up now at least Vi and Lulu I definitely don't I Jinx definitely think Jinx should go with them uh, no it's not a bad move because Jinx gets a recall she buys the item she gets the mana regen she can run down with enough time feels Lulu and Vi have the damage to maybe get that feels off feels very risky though because now I mean a moon move he's going to walk up with a fed Rise Kaisa Rise did not respect the hand but it doesn't look like he has to respect the hand apparently yeah, because and unfortunately now JHU is going to take the dragon I definitely think that oh? Jinx should have stayed there but as you see a little bit oh, of Darius is doing something to that Tom so catch. much damage he got a lot of bleed off on him Gotta be careful with Tom Kent's though, because Tom Kent's is just Ooh, all... and the enemy got right. the drag. Yeah. You know, maybe you were right. Maybe if that Jinx had I, stayed, I they the probably would have gotten that a lot Jinx faster. Jinx definitely should have stayed and got that. That's unfortunate. All good. Probably doesn't help. We did so well in the beginning, and... The mental's what? probably off a little bit. It's alright. Mine um, would be. My boys, uh, my boys have a very strong mental. The only thing my boys can get, um... You know what? Not even. Not even. My boys have the Iron Wall Mental. That's that's Point Park's thing. Iron Wall Mental. The 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 vigor. The 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 vigor. There it is. Pretty sure that's how you say that word. If that's not how you say that word, I would I would be surprised. If I'm thinking about the same word, definitely how it's said. Exactly. But I feel like there's a lot of words I just don't know. But you know what? This this is a great point. But now Kaisa is level six. Doesn't really doesn't really look very uh, and Jinx. Jinx is just getting that poke that off. Kite. Kiting is looking great by Jinx right now. It's not even the kiting; it's the Q, the Q damage. Yeah, the Q damage. See, I'm I'm not too familiar on how Jinx works, but is that the, the Q damage is what gives uh, Jinx um so much of range? It is gives that? her extra uh -huh. range and it's a bit of burst damage. See, like it goes, whoop, it explodes. And Kaisa goes automatically. Oh, and the but Vi, I didn't even see Vi, but I now we have Vi on it. Oh, but a Mumu runs back in, but the oh, double kill. So oh my was, gosh! Oh my god. Oh, and that's going to be a triple for Jinx. It's going to be a triple. That is so good for Wow. Us. Oh, my God. That was the play that just put Jinx from a losing bot lane to now hanging in this bot lane. And that is going to be... I mean, that's got to be at least two plates. Has to be. Okay, well, now you have Rise, Rise. coming in. But Rise can get mopped up easily. That's it, that's no problem. And Tom I mean, Ken just currently eating Darius. Oh, uh, it's unfortunate. See, oh, it does. It's it's Maybe, maybe if he can turn it around a little I bit. Hate I hate Tom Kench. Tom Aww. Kench is another person is why they don't have friends. Because <laughs> Tom Kench as a character is just so annoying. I'm not talking about JHU player right now. I'm, t I'm going on a rant <laughs> about Tom Kench. That is an annoying 
What? That's an annoying character. He's just a sponge. But here we go. And it it seems like now this is different. Instead of Divine Sunder, it seems like Darius is going into Stride Breaker, which I think is a very solid play, especially considering the comp that um that JHU has right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got the hook off on the Tom Kench, but Tom Kench is going to run away. And because he has the ability to do that. So the Darius is... I'm I'm not sure oh, what the, not, is he able to get oh, the R off? The, oh, but Wukong is, is coming up from behind. Ah, oh, this the is, R did not do enough damage because Hey, this is alright though. I mean you give the kill to Tom Kent's compared to giving the kill to Wukong. Yeah, to Wukong. I, I think it's uh I mean it's the best play that you could have could have made right there, honestly. I saw Mumu in the um top river for a moment. It looks like he's starting to just roam. Yeah. Which isn't a bad play for an Amuma support, but it's going to be Difficult for our team to run around with it, exactly. but that does leave Kaisa in a solo lane if that is his plan. Leaves Kaisa in a solo lane and but leaves he is and now back. Fed Jinx. Back. So that's gonna be it's gonna be hard for Kaisa to deal with. But now, move is coming back in the lane now. All right. Clearing the ward with the empowered Q Whoa! is a little bit suspicious, but feeling great. Feeling great. It's Did he just? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what was happening there, but I mean. I think he tried to Q that ward. At least I think that was his Q. I think he thought that um, I think he thought Alessandro was like hiding. Yeah. Maybe. But see, now it's hap now it's happening again. The farming, the mm -hmm. the the farming from JJ, the way he gets CS. He's like bounty off of a it's farm. Exact bounty off of that's what I'm saying. Bounty off of a farm already have rod of ages. I've never seen that. Already in building mid up the tears. It's. I mean, and it's by amazing. coming back down for the gank, it does look like we might get that Amumu here. He's just running in circles. And we got a big jinx. A big jinx, massive jinx, but oh, it doesn't but matter because Kaisa, Kaisa, is... Kaisa gets that play. And oh Kaisa... no! Oh, Kaisa six and two, and see, this is this is what's going to be hard for Point Park is now. Now JHU is they're starting to get their oh, items online. And Tom, and Tom, Kench Tom Kench just Kench. gets to eat people for free because he's exactly. Tom Kench. Yep, exactly. Now you see why I hate Tom Kench. That is so. You dip the whole kid in there, but because you got the Bombay Center, especially with the plated steel toe boots, it's just a wrap. And this is, this is really, this is so unique from like, um, I kind of like, I mean, JJ as a mid lane, this is very, it's very solid. He, I'm he's pretty not sure playing JJ's a diamond player. Masters, actually. Oh, his Masters. Yeah, oh masters my player. God. So it makes sense why his micro is just. So much better. Yeah, it's, it's just he's so good, to be honest. It, I mean, it's very solid and you have a moon moon and off, a moon but Oh, what? but the Lissandra ult. Lissandra could definitely get out. Oh, but Flash oh. just got out of there. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be And enough. Wukong's here too? They're bringing the whole gang for Lissandra. Yeah, they're bringing the whole gang for Lissandra and they also get that dragon. The, the chem, chem, chem tech. Oh my grace, I cannot talk right now. And he Amumu, just, what? Uh, what? See, Amumu's presence right now is just unreal. Oh, oh, but she got the shutdown on the, the rise. Amazing with the shutdown, good. Lord, what a play. See, like, bot lane right now, it was looking like a gap, but now they're looking very even. 5-2, and 6-2. and two. The only difference now is that 20 CS difference between Jinx and Kai'Sa now. That's more like, that's more like 30. Oh, that is? Wow, my. Yeah, see, 80 to 100. 80 this to 100 is, is why I got to see in my algebra class. I understand what Darius is trying to do right now. He's trying to use the oh, wave to do no. a little bit of damage, but I definitely it's think not. the play... Yeah, I definitely think the play should have been to back off. I mean, I, I can see yeah. where his thought process was, but it did not work out in it, the end. But we got Vi coming back down yeah. towards bot lane. It looks like we're going to try and look at that lone Kaisa. We don't know that the Amumu is in the jungle right now, though. See, but now Kaisa's looking very dangerous. You got the Kraken, the Kraken Slayer, but along with the BF Sword. The BF Sword giving 40 attack, um, giving 40 attack damage. I mean, now Kaisa could start hitting like a truck very early because since well, at this no one point has she this probably has stairs. her. She's really close to getting that E upgraded if it's not already upgraded. Oh my gosh, the E upgrade, yeah. Because you get the attack speed from the Kraken, I believe. Oh my yeah. And the attack speed from good. the attack speed boots. Yep. And then plus the E, which makes you invulnerable, but plus the uh, attack speed. That's that's not fun. If that E is already upgraded by now, that is going to be that's rough for our Jinx. Yeah. And it looks like JHU is at the dragon. I don't think we know that we're there. Dayu has so much, he has so much pressure with that Amumu and his, and just map control overall. You don't want to get any business. You don't want to feed that Kaisa anymore. To be honest with you, it's almost like you don't want to mess with her. But it seems like Point Park is gonna trade that out and get Rift Herald instead. 
hopefully our Darius can get back on back online. Um, I'll. We were just talking about Radiant Virtue, and now we're seeing Radiant Virtue on. I've never seen this before. Radiant Virtue on Tom Kench. Yeah, on Tom Kench. Maybe I mean, what's up with Radiant Virtue? It's like, so good. I it's just such a good item. Just I mean, I haven't been on the game for like for two weeks, but now really? I'm seeing Radiant Virtue everywhere. I just I'm surprised. I build it on so many champions, even as like a support player. Like I was playing Karma for a while with it. Hmm. I play Rakan with it. Rakan is so fun with Radiant Virtue. Oh my gosh, I hate Rakan. I love Rakan. Uh, guys, <laughs> it's what so a past. <laughs> but here we go. It's um, a 4K gold lead, two dragons from JHU. It's it's looking fairly rough for Point Park. It was looking very solid for Point Park, looking very even, but now the gap the is. The Amumu and the Wukong coming out of our jungle, plus that oh, stun, but yeah, we do got. Old. We got Don't that Lissandra teleport that. into the mid lane, but it does not look like it's gonna do much. We might save the tower, but we did lose. We lost Lulu Canada, in the fight. Lost Lulu in the process, which is unfortunate. I mean, the Amumu. Amumu's positioning is amazing. They hit that R and just to get out of there. It was fairly, fairly funny to see him, not going to lie there. Mumu literally went in, he R'd, and then backed up for his entire team to just do whatever they want. So Mumu is so nasty. I hate him. But now we're getting to the point to where now JHU, the Tom Kent, um, Senate, he's, he's starting to rotate. And with the Darius still trying to get online, doesn't even have the first item yet. Unfortunately, he's stuck, um, he's stuck still being in the laning phase. Which is something you don't want to be in now, considering... Um, Considering where Point Park is right now, yeah, I do like the Black Cleaver pick from um, from Vi early, especially since they buffed Black Cleaver. Black oh, they Cleaver, did. yeah. I forgot about that. I think that would have. That is a very help solid out. pick. Gold efficient as well. So honestly, if we can get Tom Kent roaming a little bit, get Darius to push up that lane, maybe take Tower while. Oh he's yeah, gone, definitely. That might actually be really good for us. But yeah. I don't think that Tom Kent is going to roam farther than maybe their jungle yeah and kaisa i mean oh no gail it happened it happened kaisa have affinity edge it's oh, looking terrifying no. it's looking so scary i didn't even realize despite all of our talking now kaisa has affinity edge along with kraken slayer and now yeah. she's gonna have that q upgrade soon yes and that power spike is going it's gonna be oh, real that, that scaling is starting to happening i said happening happen Scaling is starting to happen now. It's looking very dangerous right now for oh, Point this Park. Is... Got... Kaisa is a problem. Yeah, Kaisa's going to be a problem, especially with a Mumu that is basically killing. And now, as you can see, two level difference coming from Darius and Tom Kent. But oh, oh we got the Vi gank with the Lulu coming up from behind. Going to dive this Tom Kent. I'm loving this right now. Vi uses the R. If to we can polymorph Tom. that Tom Kent, prevent him from. Oh, oh and, they and he got the shutdown. Darius the shutdown. I think that was a. Great. I think that was a great decision by Point Park to give Darius the shutdown because that mm -hmm. gives him, that gives him a lot of gold, a lot of chance to get back online and get back in this game. Honestly. And Mumu just coming from behind. And Why that, is he yeah. allowed to do that? Yeah, because it's, it's a Mumu. That's just. Oh my God. You guys understand why we hate a Mumu. It's just he's able to do and plays like that because he's so tanky. He has so much sustain. I mean, look at that guy. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate, but. So and, and look at this as as we were literally talking about Ryze's uh, micro, he's doing it again. He's just pushing up the lanes, staying out of the fights because he knows that his team can handle the fights on their own. And Vi seems like oh, and Vi dies unfortunately, and oh Ryze just comes God. out of nowhere with a amazing but, ultimate. That's whew. looking scary. Their team is a little bit insane. JJ's and they're giving style. our boys a hard time. You know what's funny? We were talking about boots and how he didn't get boots. He still hasn't bought boots. Really? Yeah, he's only, only but both huh. got that that second item. So, but he did. He does have Archangel's staff, and it's only like 20 minutes in the game. This is fair. No, this is fair. Gives him a lot. Oh, Kaisa. I know in my low elo, I usually don't have that fully upgraded to like another 10 minutes. <laughs> I, mean, I felt just, that. I'm just like I, I felt <laughs> the pain. I felt that. I felt that. Only time I get online like that is with someone like Sen. Sen, you could just all just be like, yeah, let me just grab assist and just get free gold. <laughs> Playing with someone like like set, you go like zero and six, and it's like, oh, game's over. No, oh, sad. Like even like upgrading, because you have to upgrade your tier. Exactly. And yeah. upgrade. Yeah. Wait, here we go. Now twenty minutes in. 
14-9. JHU is up in kills. They're up in gold. A significant amount of gold now. And they're grabbing drag again. I mean, just full dragon control. I'm not sure what point card can do. I think the best thing that they can do right now is honestly farm. I don't think grouping is... I don't think grouping is the play here, to be honest. It, I, we See, are but the issue final. is, if we're not grouped, they're just going to keep solo picking everybody because they're running around as a mini murder squad right now. This is true, yeah. With Amumu, Wukong, and Kaisa, they... Oh, look at Amumu. Oh, my. He just gets to stand there. He just stands there. For oh, free. And He's... I, that's surprising. I thought he was... I thought Darius was going to, to Stride Baker. But He's loitering. Trinity Force. Uh, how do you feel about this Trinity Force pick? Honestly, going into Tom Kench. I mean, with all these these tanky... um, This tanky comp that JHU has, do you think Trinity Force was the play here? Honestly, oh. I could not tell you. I, I don't play a lot of top lane or anything, so I'm not even sure what Trinity Force is, because I don't see it often. Trinity Force is, I mean, usually, I mean, it is the go-to. I've seen it Darius. on Ezreal. Yeah, Trinity Force, it, it, it does a lot of damage. It, it does it does a ton of damage, especially like after after the um, the third basic, you do more damage. But into a tanky comp like Tom Kench, Amumu, and... Deba debatably even rise rise looking a, a, a bit tanky right now i feel like it wasn't a bad pick just to get it to be able to damage them but the only issue with it is he doesn't have the extra health from it and jinx oh my gosh and the shutdown on the like kaisa a thousand a thousand gold shutdown which that is going to put jinx online unfortunately darius is getting caught out by the rise oh, this is it he lives it. The rise he lives it. Oh my Darius god, that lives. Lulu ult. Oh my goodness, and then you just... Yo, what, what is it? We're gonna get a support 1v1 right now? Yo, Lulu, give him the business, man. Don't let him take that war Give him the free. business right now. Don't let him exist Don't for let free. him take He's the war. He's loitering. Get, get him, him out of there. Sit this man down. And we got the team backing them up. Rise is... Oh, and Rise took the Lulu out of that situation. That's just... But he's coming back. Uh, just, what an ego that Mumu has. But here we go. It seems like Rise is going to die for that, though, unfortunately, for peeling. <laughs> oh, and Mumu with a and huge Rise ultimate escapes. right now. Rise gets out of there, and, and they get jinxed. That is nasty. I mean, look at that. The oh, he's just, he's just tower team. diving. He's just tower diving for free. And Rise can't do anything. And look, look at that. Tom, Tom Kent's just walking up oh, into the lane. Gosh. Tom Kent's just not caring in the world. Oh, Lulu oh gets caught, God. unfortunately, and Lissandra getting out, but here we go. We have Darius. You got the Trinity He's Force. Tick Balls oh on him. Oh, my God. Possibly another kill. Oh, we got Keynes going off right now. If he could, Possibly, yes. oh, my gosh. And look, so many bounties that Kaki just picked up. Now, we're starting to see the Darius get online. Is this going to affect Kais Kaisa, though? Because Kaisa and Amumu, that combo is still looking like a Kaisa's just getting threat. to exist for free, and it's not fair because... Well, I guess it's not really for free because Amumu is existing for free, and oh, Kaisa just happens to be... Man, Amumu's just waving money. Living off of that. Yeah. But now, I mean, now Jinx is online now. We have Infinity Edge on Jinx. Jinx is starting to kind of keep up with the skill on Kaisa now. I definitely think that um, Point Park is going to prio the, uh, the Kaisa Locked if they on. can, hopefully. I just realized JHU has Soul Point. Yeah, JJ is... We uh, have to prioritize that dragon okay. somehow. We cannot let them get that mountain soul because that makes their tanks even tankier. Yep, yep, and it makes it almost uncontestable in fights. It's it's very hard to just to take down JHU's front line, to be honest. They have they have such a strong front line, and especially since we're starting to get to those high levels like JJ for instance, level sixteen. Not even 30 minutes, already level 16. Tom Kench, level 14. Now they're getting really, really tanky, and Amumu doesn't even care. Gets that Kaisa pick on that buy. Oh, but the team is coming in. Point Park is trying to get that. <gasps> oh, oh the Jinx Kaisa rocket was the so close. That was so close, and Kaisa gets away for free. That's but we might be able to get this pick on that Tom Kench. But Kent. Darius looking very strong right now, but Bryze. Oh, Bryze and Wukong just came out of nowhere. Bryze is taking out the back line right now. Oh, oh, and, oh my goodness, is, and Bryze. Oh my Oh, but Darius oh. does get a pick there. Darius gets a pick, but Rise with the rise. quadruple kill. Again, it just happened again, He did not again, get Gale. the Penta, though. No, he didn't get the Penta? He did not get, get the, the Penta. But then again, it, it's happening again to where JJ is just staying quiet, minding his business, and just then farming. Coming in and out then of coming out of nowhere. nowhere. Out of nowhere, grabbing these kills and making these plays. 
it, it gives him gives him so much space, especially since you have just such a strong bot lane like Kaisa and Amumuts, where you're able to just be like, okay, I'm gonna farm by myself, almost almost as if he's a top laner, and I'll just help when I can or whenever I want to at this point. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, but the team is coming in. Gonna try and team is coming in, but it seems talk like to that rise, talk to that Tom Kench. Ooh, it's very scary right now. How is Jinx already low health? Oh my God, what did they do to her? I mean, if you look at the, I mean, it's a four level difference between Rise and, and Jinx. Jinx. Yeah, that level is, twelve. That is so not fair for her. As you could tell. And Tom Kench is just gonna come in. Rise is right back there by. Not much that you can do right now. Oh, but, but Kakid coming in. We do have Kakid. Can we get that pick? We able to make the play. Oh, Rise does get the. Oh. Gonna but Kaizix gets the Janet. Oh, and the 1,000 gold. But as all of this was happening, JHU was like, okay, you guys can do your fighting, but we're going to grab Soul real quick. And now they have Mountain Soul. Which makes the oh, tanking no. so much more. Oh, it makes it impossible. Oh, it's going to be so hard. It's going to be so hard to now to shred through it, especially since Jinx. They can't even like shred through dominates. Kaisa now. Like Kaisa's yeah. supposed to be an ADC, but now she has that mountain soul on her back. Yep. That's going to be that's, that's going to be very gonna rough. Be rough. And now yeah. Kaisa has third item and a third item Kaisa is not fun, but now Rise has Rabadons. And now this makes Rise from being this tanky guy to a little bit tanky, kind of doing whatever just farming by himself to now being almost a solo fragger. So now Rise is looking very, I mean, the entire team, JHU, is just getting online. And as you can see, their micro is impeccable. Rise, 265 CS. Kai'Sa constantly farming with CS. I mean, almost an, an 100 C, almost an 100 CS difference between um, between the mid. Between the mid laners, that's, that's very rough. Nice. And that's going to start getting the play. It's going to start being prevalent. 27 minutes, Rise level 17. While everyone else is level 14, this is it's kind of rough. That is so unfortunate. We don't. Okay. Rise is clearing wood. Rise is just minding his business. Like he's just <laughs> minding his business. It's like oh, I'm just going to get a ward here. But as you can see, JHU, they definitely, they definitely want Baron proud. They're definitely looking for it. They're playing for the vision. You have Tom Kent being just really fat and just being really <laughs> thick right now, and a Mumu with a huge <laughs> ultimate right now. Jinx. Jinx Unfortunately, is going to get soloed out by the team. But Jinx oh, but we we have to jinx on the little. Oh, and we got Lissandra got fighting. a kill on that. Wu Kong, Wu Kong is now out of the fight. And Kaki just giving a move with a freaking business right now, man. Fuck oh you. my gracious, amazing. That was love clean. It. Love the gameplay by Point Park. They saw the move. They were like, okay, Amumu's gonna try to go for Jinx like he's been doing the entire game. Darius is like, okay, come cast these hands then. Now, but now you have Rise being by himself. Again, like being the solo fragment. But up here. he's going to get here. stomped he's on right now. And Oh, but Tom, Tom Kench is, is teleporting up, it looks like. Might be able to peel for him, but I don't I don't I see JHU getting out of this one. That's just going to be another kill for Point Four Kaisex on that Jinx. Wow. The more kills we get on that Jinx, the faster she goes. Exactly, exactly. The more Kai. Oh, man. Jinx is getting those kills now and starting to get online. If, if, as you said, if Jinx starts getting these kills, getting more kills, then that means the more she can hang with Kaisa. And now we have Zanya's on Lissandra, which that's going to be absolutely huge considering the ultimate as well. Oh, and JHU is just going, they're just going to go for it while everyone is still alive. I don't. That's not a bad play on their part. We just got to hope our guys can come in, Jinx. Has that ult. Oh! oh and the Vine steals and we, the Baron! Oh my gracious! That was so worth it. Wow! Now Ralph this might have died there, but that gives the rest of the team the Baron and it denies them the Baron. Team. Denies it's gonna, them the Baron. That's oh, going to stop their push a little bit. They'll yes. have those Baron minions that they have to... Definitely stops the momentum from JHU right now to not be like, okay, we're going to go end. And that leaves Point Park with Baron now. So this game is very winnable right now. Amazing play by my boy Routes. I haven't called him Routes in a while. I've been calling him Vi. But I've been calling everybody player. by their names. <laughs> <laughs> but not by their names, by their champ <laughs> names. Amazing play by Routes. I mean, you, you love to see plays like that. That's just that's just beautiful plays. Just highlight plays. But now, Lissandra trying to make a play right there. But oh, with the Zonias. Bite him in the back. But 
Darius looking so prevalent, looking so strong and the right now. Down on the rise. Kakid, go crazy, my boy. Go crazy. It looks like they might get that Wukong too. He got the spin. Oh, he got the Oh, he pulled out him. Oh my god, he didn't pull no, out. He did. he no, he didn't. He pulled out. No, we got him. Kakid just losing his mind. He's only level 16 and he's just denying the level 18 rise. Rise, Rise was playing. It seemed like he, Rise was playing so solid, but now we got the, the Darius is taking over. Got the smite on the Amumu. Vi goes in, and this possibly could be game. They have the Baron. They could. Oh my God! Oh my gracious! It, it's a team it's wipe. It's just a Tom. Nearly a, a team Tom wipe. Kent. Tom Kent. They she's take just a that side tower. character now. This could very well be an inhib, which is going to be very huge for Point Park right now. Now they're they're three kills behind. The gold Darius is just tanking those no, towers, is letting the madness. Jinx take it. Darius is a matter. Now you have the Lulu, as we said before. Now the Lulu pick is looking very strong right now. Jinx Lovely. is just shredding oh through towers. Gosh. No time to wait. They point and they get the no inhib. And they get the inhib. Wasting no time. A perfect use of Varen right now. And we have Elder Dragon up in 45 seconds. Now this is a critical time for both teams. If Point Park gets Elder, then this game is in the freaking bag. Absolutely. You can even hear them yelling. I love it. I, I love it. This is what I love about Point Park. Um, just Point Park Esports. Everyone's cool with each other. There's not a lot of not a lot of beef. There. Everyone loves each other. You know what I'm saying? Big we're all vibes. Homies. Yeah, we're all homies. Everyone communicates with each other. Everyone, there's no bad blood between uh, anybody. It's just, it's a great time. We're, we're all here for funny thing of the day. We want to be competitive, but that, that's the point of Point Park Esports is to be fellow pioneers and to just have a great time. We're all here to be gamers at the end of the day. All right, stick with the sentimental stuff. We're going in. Darius wastes no time. Darius looking massive right now, I believe. Being the front the line, person. getting over there. Vi takes that wow. flask cone in. Oh, takes a We're starting the dragon now. If they don't have a way in unless Amumu uses a bandage to oh, get in there. Have, but they're taking a long heads. way. Going in, but that Amumu oh, jumps no! over. Oh, my God. The Amumu tries to go in for the ultimate. Oh, and they're looking away from the Baron. Oh, and Wukong's gonna take it. Oh my god. And it seems like that is. Oh, it seems like that is going to be the end of the team fight for Point Park, possibly game. Yeah. And the client shuts down because they're like, okay, this is game over. Oh my god. The client no. shut down at the worst moment. It seems like that was. Let's ask the director. It seems like that was game. Oh, sure. All right. Uh so it seems... I mean, it showed us a scoreboard. Like, yeah, at the very end, I couldn't yeah. tell. I didn't get a good look at it to see if it was the scoreboard but, from this game or the scoreboard mm, from last game. But giving off of the, I mean, the team wipe that JSU just did, they probably just, I mean, they had the entire mid lane open, so that, and they had top lane open as well, so that possibly, possibly could have been game, because now that's probably like 60 seconds, especially going in like 30 minutes into the game, or nearing the 30 minute um time mark. That's probably 60 seconds respawn time, so... But would they have forfeited there? I feel like maybe they could have turned it around if they came up, but I don't, I don't uh, feel like they forfeited. It depends. It really does depend because we did... Point Park did have their minions in... Um, Point Park did have their minions in JHU's base mm -hmm. a little bit, so they possibly could have... If you recall, get those minions. That's 30 seconds burned, but still have to wait 30 seconds to respond. So I'm, I'm give or take, I think JHU, they ended the game. That, that's what I'm thinking, unfortunately. I'm so, four. right now, I don't know which Red Bull is mine. This uh, is mine is probably the one that's more full. All right, well, there we go. Yeah, right. that one's mine. Dang it, that's my second Red Bull. Um, <laughs> Do not go past three Red Bulls, everyone. That's highly unhealthy. Um, You give yourself a heart attack. But I'm a gamer, so uh, I have about six. But it's okay. <laughs> so, we go to the gym for it. Right? And uh, drink water. So, uh, anyways, um, we're going to wait. And see what happens. Uh, give or take, if, if the game is um, still going, then that would be great. That would be really cool. But if the game is uh, not still going, then it will probably end up being JHU. Lobby shut down before the game ended, unfortunately. All right. So the lobby shut down before the game ended. Um, it's game over. That ends with JHU uh, winning both of the matches, being 2-0 um, in the set. And so JHU wins that. But... It was a great time. I, I had tons of fun as like the first official game of the season for League. Our team is looking really, really solid. But definitely we had a lot of good plays going yeah, in exactly. there. We definitely gotta work on the We saw their world. skill. We saw their exactly. abilities. Yeah. 
I definitely um see for this um season, yeah. Uh, definitely see for the season to work on um. Seems like we need a lot of work on the micro. I mean, the mid lane, it's it's cool to see like how other teams play, because the style of JJ on um on on JHU, it was just fundamentals of league. It wasn't really flashy mechanics. It was playing for CS, playing playing for the micro, and just letting that micro kind of flourish out in the end game, and then grabbing the picks grabbing the picks when they were absolutely necessary. The, JJ only went in when he knew that he had the advantage, which I think that was great. But um, besides that, make sure to stick around. Six o'clock, six o'clock. Valorant, we're hopping into the mix. Second game of the season. Your casters will be me. Third Three, game. third game of the season. Okay, my, sorry, third game of the season. Um, your casters will be your boy in the uh, shiniest. You know. <laughs> You know me, man, Ricky, Ricky Bobby, as I'm known, but name's actually Ricky Allen, but I'm Ricky Bobby. But, um, and then it will be another costume, which I believe will be the other Mason, right? And then it'll be the other Mason, my musical theater boy. But, um, yeah. So do you have any last remarks, girl? Or? Um, I'm not sure. I'm really mm. hopeful for the next few games of the mm. season. I'm really excited to see... You How excited to cast? We... Was, I am was, excited say, to was cast. Your first time that was casting. My first time ever <laughs> casting. Did a great job. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Uh, I, I'm really excited to continue on. I'm really yeah. excited to see how far our guys come and how far yeah. I learned how to be a caster. Yeah, there we go. It's I'm, gonna be a ton of fun. That's I'm real excited. But um, yeah, make sure to tune in six o'clock for Valorant, and uh, we will see you guys next week for League. So yeah, take care. Yeah. Welcome back to another Valorant match, guys. So two be two games back to back. We just Let's got get done with to the it, league, man. and we're now we're having up with it, Valorant. Man. Billy Bob, Joe, Steve, you all know me. This is Ricky Bobby coming at you. Sorry for the gang sign there. That was a little bit weird. <laughs> Yo, what uh, you doing, man? Uh, it means Point Park <laughs> Esports. All right, there we go. There so. we go. Nice, <laughs> nice, love it. Alrighty, we're gonna be going up against Liberty University today for our yeah. game here at Point Park. Um, don't know map lineups just yet. We were kind of talking about that to and fro, but uh, don't know exactly where we're gonna be landing first. However, coming out from Lotus last game, it was a bit of a rough, a bit of a rough play last game, but there was a lot of plays yeah. from yesterday that definitely like kept them up, kept them I mean, going. Lots of you know? plays. I mean, it was just, it was just getting to the point to where it was a lot of eco, something that. Point Park has always struggled with, Point Park Valorant has always struggled with, it's getting that eco back on track after losing a round. It seems like every time they every every time they lose a full buy round, they go into eco and then they go into this this basically this stumbling hill of just trying to get just trying to get their money right for real, for real, bro. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And then dealing with an op from yesterday. I mean, you know, I hate the op personally, so it makes that kill. Uh, but yeah. you know, when you have when you have to deal with an op and you're going on your third eco round, it's it's rough. There's only so much you can do. You could could go in and play for a pick, but eventually that's not gonna work all the time. Especially like from point park, whenever they go eco round, they don't really do a five man rush to try and trade each other out for this eco round. They end up doing this thing to where okay, it's eco. Let's all go for one v ones with our pistols against full on guns or an op. And I don't think that's very, um, it's not, well, it's turned out to be not that effective. So I'm hoping this game that, um, especially since they're in their comfort maps, I do know for a fact that Lotus is being banned. That's mm -hmm. just something that's not being played. The only <laughs> wild card yeah, no. for, um, the only wild card for this match right now is going to be Pearl. Pearl is, it could be up in the air. Liberty could throw that in and play that. But given from um, the info from the coach, Liberty has not been, hasn't played Pearl in their scrim. So I don't think we'll be seeing Pearl today. And um, it could possibly, the three maps that we could possibly be seeing in these in these series of matches could be Haven, Ascent, Icebox, and Split. They're hoping to get Split lineup. first map, which is something that Point Park's comfortable in. That's their that's one of their comfort maps. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see. And we're also, hopefully, we're going to be having Cl Clark back on Omen, which Omen is, mm -hmm. uh, if, if you've seen Clark's gameplay, in these games, his his omen, it dictates the game almost. It, it dictates the flow of the game, and depending on how hot he is with his aim, it almost makes it. It, it makes the it makes Point Park's attacker side 
so much more lethal than mm -hmm. when he's on like someone like Viper or someone like um or someone like Brimstone, for instance. And we are gonna be seeing Harbor, which I'm very excited <laughs> for. I wasn't able to Love see Harbor it. because I had work last night and I wasn't able to see um all the games. But I heard that in their first game they played Harbor and creep on Harbor. That's gonna be a sight to see, considering his KO, considering um, considering his KO and his fate already that are very solid. So yeah. No, he made a he made a big splash, if I dare say. With oh, Harbor. okay. There we okay, go. We've got bro. some puns going in here. I see you. We're bro. getting the funny up, but yes, he sir. really did. But all in all seriousness, he did really play Harbor really. pretty well. He locked down on that mid side pretty That's well to the point where they pretty much had to rush him. In the Goodness. end, and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But like, right. as in terms of like throwing out the walls and stuff like that, Creep was really good at doing that. Well, with Harbor. that the team, from what I heard, that the the team that we went against uh, last night, it was basically the team that won the entire tournament back in fall semester. I think we played. I think Point Fire played fairly well against no. the number one team in NA. It definitely <laughs> wasn't like a wipeout. I mean, yeah. like we lost 2-0, but like there was a lot of good matches in there. There was definitely a lot of plays that I great think plays. we could solidify on. Mm. And it's just as you said, that eco was just really hurting them yeah. in the end, and they were just so down in eco every yeah. single time. It's up. It felt like every other round we had to go do a pistol buy. Yeah, and that's and like that, that's what kills. That's what I kills. I hate that man. I'm not gonna lie. Like just seeing an eco for like three rounds. It's like, bro, am I going to see an assault rifle anytime <laughs> soon? Man? You also have to get the like, you also have to get the eco like going in like the very early round because exactly. once you keep it up, you can lose a round or two and you could still yeah, keep your it, but when still it, your full. In those buy. times when it's like seven and nine, and when it's like seven and ten, and you have that one buy round out of out of the last eco round that you have, if you end up losing that round, then it's onto the it's on, it's like this chain reaction again. Of waiting three rounds until you have to full buy until you can full buy again and that's that's been really i'm not gonna lie i think that's the only thing that's been really hurting point park to be honest and also like staying staying zoned in throughout the entire game and like keeping that communication up through throughout like the entire game but also our mental is very strong point park's mental oh, yeah. is fairly strong there's games cannot go their way and then they could like they could flip it on a flash and if the other team's not ready for the flip and for the adjustment of the game then I don't know, it's, like it's gonna be a wrap. But <laughs> I, I'm excited. I, I haven't casted for Valorant in a while, and so I'm excited to see what kind of plays and be happening. I cannot wait to see this Harbor pick. I, <laughs> I, bro, it's been in the works for it's been in the works for a while now. They're like, yeah, we're gonna pull it out eventually. Like ever since the character released, like yeah, we're gonna mess with this, we're gonna practice with this, but and then eventually we're gonna like pull it out in comp. And the fact that they've been pulling it out in comp is so exciting. I spot. Split and ascent. Now, Alrighty, that is gonna be very interesting. Alrighty, especially first map icebox. I first mean, mass I first map being icebox. I think we're gonna make a pretty huge. Oh yeah, splash huge on. impact. Huge get impact. the battle, get the battle sage going, mm, stuff like right, that. Ten minutes. Alrighty, it's gonna be ten more minutes until the game starts, which Alrighty. I'm uh, excited for, especially oh, yeah. icebox. I mean, Seeing it's, uh, it's, I even mentioned about the viper, um, Clark's viper, but Clark's viper. On Icebox is actually really, really solid. No, really, it very really is. Good, so. It seems like, in terms of controller, like Viper seems to want, seems to be the age to go. I mean, like you have a great wall lineups yep. on, um, both A and B side. I mean, like the Viper. I mean, you're able to split that. Very, very split very that effective. site. Amazing, especially for post plant, and then you have the lineups, which I believe yes, Clark knows knows some type of lineups, but I I do want to see KJ. I, I think see we are. I think we are going to see KJ um, for Icebox. It's almost like, it's not a must, but it almost is because KJ kind of serves the purpose of Sage, for instance, for holding that tunnel, and just kind of like not worrying about tunnel. And since KJ's utility is just so good and so solid on that defense, you want to have that, so you're not able, like, you don't have to worry about peeking unnecessary peaks. You just have the turret to do their job for you, and you also have that alarm bot, which is very solid, especially for like a a B hold or like even an A. An a hold with KJ, so hoping to see that. Uh, we should be seeing Fade, which I'm excited. I'll, I always like Fade as a character. Fade is very solid. You, I mean, you have the haunt to where it gives you um gives you info. You also have um it's almost like a sky dog. I don't even know the name of it. It's like a sky prowler. Dog. Yeah, prowler. You also have prowler mm -hmm. to get that, and then you also have that tether, which is really really good. That privately makes the person one shot. So 
I always like Fade, but I, I do want to see a I Silver. think Fade's a very interesting character. In terms of Icebox, though, when it comes to Initiators, I love seeing, like, the double Fade and Sova. Definitely. As well. That's what I'm saying. Which yeah, is what, what we've been running a little bit, because the Sova gets so much intel with the stock exactly. card. Exactly, yeah. And um, the recons and the um, drone and the stuff like that. The recon dart is so effective. Yeah. Oh, very much so. And so, kind of like I would not, I would not be surprised if I saw another double initiator played out by yeah. Point Park because I think that's something that we're very effective on is exactly. trying to get intel. And um, I would love, I would definitely love creep back on the battle stage, back on oh his little box. Oh my gosh! Dude, <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> was, battle stage was nuts, to be honest. That was uh, that was something else. That was a sight. Uh, I think one thing that we can definitely capitalize on with the battle stage is yes, pu putting out putting yourself out there and basically like boom headshot headshot oh, yeah, with the wall and stuff like that. The one thing that drove me but crazy, a lot of though, times you gotta get back a little bit. You yeah, know? you just gotta what, get back. What drove me crazy though, um, when I last cast it is that we like we had the sage and we didn't use res. Like mm -hmm. they, they learned like there was there was just this thing that we're like as as the rounds would go on and go on and go on, the res would kind of just sit there and kind of just like it's almost like you're taking chicken and you're marinating and seasoning. It's like, all right, we're just going to let it sit for like a couple of days. Like, that's what I felt like the sage res was. But, um, like chicken, I like chicken, I like the chicken so. marinating. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. Okay. Off. Part of that is because I'm <laughs> hungry right now. That's part of the reason, but it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm using the, you know, I'm using my imagination. No, yeah. Right now, no, yeah. Res is definitely something that like makes sage like one of the, I mean, that a makes lot her, of a big used character. Yeah. Our game. whole purpose. No, exactly. Purpose, yeah. Like healing and this res and stuff like that. And he's been using heals a lot. And he, I think last game he did use res a little mm. bit in there. So I think he's getting back into it. I just think the match that we saw together, I just don't think there was any a, a lot of good times. I just honestly think that Creep is, overall as a player, is just, just better playing someone that's just not. Like Sage, Sage is very, the gameplay is very passive. And I mean, with Creep's amazing mechanic abilities and his game sense and being the IGL, He's just better, like, he's just better overall on someone like KO or someone like Harbor, which we are going to see um, in a few minutes. And, and I, but I think these, going back to these maps, I think these maps are going to be really good for Point Park because it's not a map, it's not a map that we're unfamiliar with. It's a map that we've been playing and have played consistently throughout, I think, I believe all of our games between, um, all our games against um, these different universities is Icebox. Icebox eventually comes up during the setup during like the game <laughs> set so i always it's love definitely something icebox. we're not unfamiliar with and like getting that familiarity with um icebox and stuff like mm -hmm. that is definitely going to help them in the end i think going into this match what we know from yesterday and like okay what went wrong what went yeah. right and stuff like that i think they can definitely capitalize it on this match we're gonna win oh we're gonna win that's why i know we're, we're just gonna win ricky bobby so says it right here right now we're gonna, we're gonna so win easy. i'm telling you there's a type of i don't know if you viewers know but there's a type of charisma all right that the, the type of pizzazzness that uh that Forest. me and Mason have when it comes to the casting Valorant and it's a type of magic that's it's it's crazy. And then when you get the double Mason's casting, I know y'all seen that before, it's a type of magic that's it's almost like a buff to the team. Almost a buff to the entire team across the board, Rocket League, League of Legends and Valorant. It's it's something that you can't find outside of Point Park. Maybe it sounds like I'm rapping right now, but Bars? it's uh that's what it is. As uh, as that's how it is. But I'm dying to watch the game what is uh, <laughs> was the uh was the time loop happening we're right gonna be now going soon we're gonna be going soon you yeah, just gotta bring it down a little I'll, bit I'll, I'll, I'll tone it down get for a little bit get I, we're by gonna the be way, on icebox let that chills run through you by red bull i have drink your red bull we're not here in the league uh drink stream i have drank two red bulls already i am um my heart is jumping right now but that is beyond the point boys we're trying boys and gals we are getting to it and I can't wait for the game right now. Oh, yeah. Sponsored by Red Bull. We love Red Bull. Yes. This is my, also my second Red Bull of the day. This is the best, Take best Red Bull. energy drink in the market right now, honestly. Oh, honestly. Heck, yeah. Ooh, uh, so what else do we uh, got going on? We're going to be seeing a Senna a little bit as well. Senna's our yeah, thir second Senna's map. Third map. Senna's third map. The third map, third map third really? Map. Okay. So Split's the second map. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So, so ba basically, like a repeat of what happened yesterday, because we played really? Split first and then Icebox, oh, and so today okay. we're playing Icebox and then Split. Huh? Just Funny. So this is this is definitely familiar territory with them. Mm. I think like after letting that chicken marinate, you know, <laughs> letting, letting that match yeah. chicken marinate <laughs> yeah, from, yeah, yeah. from yesterday. I think <laughs> yeah. I think we can do it in. The, I think we can get it today. I think we can. I think we know our mistakes. I think we know how to capitalize on yeah. it. Just get that eco up and then. 
you're gonna get your score up. I'm excited to see the split bonds up as well. I I haven't seen I haven't seen our team play split up. I, I I haven't I just haven't been around for it. So well, it's also excited. just been a while since we've seen split. I mean, like this is true. And split being recently back into the game, like after oh my gosh, after so many months of being out of the of the rotation. But here we go. So here we go. We're going on Icebox first. There's our KJ. There's our Battle Sage. There's our Viper. Mm. There's our Sova, and there's our Yoshi. Ah, uh, so similar lineup from yesterday. It seems mm. like I think this is a similar. This is the pretty much the same setup that we saw from last time. And um, forgive me if I am mistaken, but it looks like they um. I mean, it's they're running this pretty much. I'm about pretty say, much it's same almost thing. the same comp. The only difference with Liberty's this comp is the duelist basically and i mean we've seen this before to where it's basically the same comp but instead of the other uh instead of the other um team going raised they've went jet which jet i mean you have the dash with jet you have those smokes and then you also have that amazing all if you can um if the player is able to mechanically finesse with it so it's just a little bit different but then again Raise in some regards has that ultimate to where it's a guaranteed one shot if you use it correctly. So this is gonna be it's gonna be exciting. But we're gonna take a little bit of a tech timeout. It's a little bit weird right now. We're kinda in like cinematic mode. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> cinematic mode on violent right now, uh, you know. But we're seeing very similar comps with both Liberty and us. Yeah. I think definitely we're both on the same wavelength as us. But it seems like um, Point Park is on defender side, which this is it's gonna be different. Mm -hmm. But I think I think Point Park has the edge right now for the first half since oh, definitely. we have the KJ and we also have the C. So that's a lot of defense right now. All righty, we're good. We're back. Let's up. get it to it, man. All righty, let's get it to it. Liberty's so. going to be attacking first. We're going to be on defense first. It looks like they're going to be kind of defaulting a little bit through A here. And then here we go. Round one, Liberty. It's going up right now. Sozy with the dart. And it looks like they're going to be moving in. Very, very slow right now yeah, on Liberty's really end. Slow right now. But Celsi's holding it right now, and so is Yoshi holding those different angles. There is the dart from um, Gathlinka, it looks like. <laughs> Dang. Gathlinka. Gathlinka. We'll call him Gath. We'll, we'll call him Gath. We'll call him Gath. Alrighty, Yoshi sees some action on the Ooh, jet. The dink some. Dink some. Celsi also getting some action too, and there we go. Oh, it looks like a lot of our action is going to be up on A site right Liberty's now. Liberty's playing really passive right now. I don't know if they're trying to they're trying to get some sort of info, but Point Park isn't giving them any sort of edge right I now. I think they're just looking for picks right now, and they're not getting any. If anything, they're kind of they're kind of getting dinked. They're kind of getting low, and it looks like they're going to be looks like they're going to be slowly pushing out of that. They're having like a dance party right now in the spawn. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. They're mambo jamboing. Mambo jamboing. <laughs> mambo jamboing. Killjoy moving up in the salsa. But here we go. Now it seems like they're seems like they're going to commit for a push right now. And Selzy. Selzy looks like they're just going to Oh, get and we're up. back at it. Here and we then go. And boom. My Yoshi gosh. gets a headshot, but they, then he gets traded out immediately. And then it looks like they're going to plant right now. Selzy with the shock darts. Uh, oh, Clark gets the Clark? kill on the Jets. So that's going to be huge. 4v3 right and now. Selzy looks like he's going to get, get into this little bit of action. Recon dart. Where are they at? Beautiful Two of them recon get dart. Two of them get darted. Selzy hits them through the wall. They're all really low right now. Gathlinka does get it. And it looks like they're going to be sticking right now. It's a 2v3 situation. 3v1 situation. All they got to do is there we go. And that's round. That's game. That's round. Oh, wow. There's our game. pistol oh, round. Gosh. There's our pistol round. Off to a great star. Cursed is going to defuse for a 1-0 lead Let's starting go, this match. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right. Here's our pistol round wins that we're talking I'm about, you, man. Yo, Here yo. they are. Statistically, Point Park's pistol round is one of the best. Is is just amazing. It's fluid. It's The trading is on point. Everything is perfect with their pistol round. They're so strong and in that pistol round. And props to Selzy and Yoshi holding down on A-side, even though oh, they yeah. tried to fake him out with that. Great discipline. And there we go. At the start of this round, it looks like they're going to be kind of defaulting over to <gasps> B now. And Liberty is actually buying on this last round. Something different that we... Oh, they're forcing. Seen before. They're forcing. And there we go. Creep with the deep wall as we enter in the second round. It looks like he knows he's going to get some info there. Sure loves that deep wall. Here's the drone. It's just going to get missed by it. And we also got the Killjoy set up all over on B as well. So this is definitely going to be hard for them. We got Viper hanging around mid a little bit. As it looks like they're going to be Careful. pushing through right now. As Creep's going to do his little dance around the yellow box. Oh, this is looking very Alrighty. dangerous for Creep right now. 
creep is basically as soon as he peeks is going to get hit by all of these angles that are just watching him gets hit by the jet a little bit heals himself up a little bit and it looks like they're going to push in creep, creep does pull. find one but yog lord does get him back yog and cursed lord. and cursed is getting back a little bit clark moves up a little bit what a unique name yog lord. <laughs> that's definitely that's definitely a new one and so there we go yog lord be planning right now and Spike is planted. Great ball. Cursed, cursed with the great. freaking Molly. Okay. And there we go. Yoshi with the grenade. What are these utility picks Util right now? <laughs> utility getting everywhere right now. Yoshi sees the last oh. pick and gets it. And that's going to be another win. You hate to see the reload. That's going to be another win for the defenders. 2-0 and oh right now. This is very huge because they forced. Strong. They forced on the second round. This hurts. This, and this that hurts is going Liberty. to kill yes. their econ right now. And that's going to give us the econ advantage that we've been looking for all this time. Oh, we're off to a great start. As I said before, point parks. Mm. I mean, point parks ice box. It's, it's, it's dangerous. Tough. It's dangerous. It's tough. It is it's dangerous. They are all locked in. Look at all of them right now. Yoshi three and one at the top of the leaderboard. Cursed three and oh, also at the top of, of the leaderboard. Knows. Our boys, oh, they're popping off right now. And here we go. And it looks like there's going to be a different strategy coming in from Liberty right now. It looks like m most of them is a coming mid through mid right now. Interesting. And here we go with the Sage Wall again. Oh, and wow. And Creep absolutely does the heebie-jeebies to them and kills the Killjoy. And it's now a 5 It's that tango you were talking about, man. It's a tango. It's the Mambo number five. It's the Salsa Jamba. Exactly. Man. Oh, and Yoshi is just... In the flank right now, just contesting right, they, all of them. And they do pick off Creep in the end. Yoshi is pushing out a little too further, and I think it is now a 3v3. Selby's does find the Viper. And, it, oh, it looks like their Sage just crept through Kitchen right now, and it's Curse is going to see that right now. Ooh. Oh, wow. And That's Integral real. gets right into the Curse's territory. What a shot. Clark. Clark 13 has health massive, and a dream. A massive flank right now by Clark. Seems like when Clark is one of the last people who left alive, they are just very low on health. He's a shadow, though. He's it's, a it's, shadow. It's a shadow into the night. And that's going to be a spike planted for Liberty right now, and they are all holding out the angles right now, it seems. Oop. Oh, Clark what a pick. finds the Gathlinka. It's a 2v2 right now. Selzy pushing in. Selzy's full health pushing in as well. Oh, Integral does get picked off. <gasps> Selzy finds it. And here's the Sage. Selzy versus Sage. There's Bomb. We see it. They're pushing in. Ooh, finds the Shack Dart. Oh! And kills it! Oh, my gracious. And there we go. And that's going to be a Diffuse 3 nothing. The Shock Dart Spectre combo. Love to see what it. What a great combo by Hidden oh, Love to see it. That's 3 0. Oh. And we are taking off on this Icebox map, baby. Hey. Love to see it. We saw some of our play. It was definitely a close one because some of our players were definitely peeking out. Oh, yeah. Even though, like, I think we got a little bit too comfortable that last round. Hey, but that flank was looking very dangerous from Yoshi. He could have oh, yeah. possibly got some picks, but unfortunately, Liberty came over, took care of mm -hmm. him. Now we're looking at a full buy right now, Mason. How are okay. you feeling about this one? It's it's feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Creep is still has his bulldog out, and he has the most credits that's going to be saved right now. But they're also looking very similar to um, Liberty's right now. And Liberty should be hurting on credits a whole bunch. And he's... All right. And so opening this fourth round, no. Uh, Clark and Jed are definitely tangoing on top of that bridge right now. It's a kitchen. Yoshi's going to come in. Twinks the headshot. Oh, with the Vandal. Come on. Come on. Great bomb placement by, um, by Yoshi, though. Kind of oh. just take Integral off that. Oh, Yoshi's trying to spray through that hole right now. Oh, gets, and the jet gets healed. And yet again, there's their mish push. But Curse does find Itacrol and does get the kill on that. Liberty is beautiful on an absolute halt right now. Oh my gracious. And there's Creep. Creep does get one of them, but he does get traded off. However, it's still a 4v3 situation. Up, and Yoshi finds the Sova. And, Yo and the Sova just peeks out, but Clark does get the trade Three on that. Trades. It's now a 3v2, as it looks like Liberty's going to be heading into B right now. And Curse is still alive with the Util. And there we go. He brings out the Molly right there, just as the Sage is going to plant. Just like that. And there's another Molly being thrown by Cursed. Tries to put it out. Clark sees him. 
Not Possibly. quite connecting though. Sage is definitely very low. Clark oh. does get the Viper. These trades are just fantastic by Clark right now. And there is Selzy with the final kill as we are going to defuse for nothing now. This is just Selzy's leg work. This is amazing. Here we Clark go. Clark is looking really strong right now. It's oh, yeah. 4 0. Eco is just looking super solid. Everyone's playing really good right now. The, I mean, the trading in that round, the timing with their trades are just so are, they're, they're so solid. Mm -hmm. They're playing so good as a team right they now. They are very connected right now. They are very locked in right now. And they are winning round after round after round. That you is see the them perfect smiling, thing. Man. That is the perfect thing for our eco right now. We should be seeing a hefty, big hefty eco on our side right now. And Liberty is also full buying, but they still are very running low on a lot of credits right now. And as you can see, they're going to try to go for an A push as we open up this fifth round. Buying on that, buying on that second round, it really, really hurt oh. Liberty. And it, right here. And now that, that put them in the situation that they're in now, to be honest. Selzy has up top locked down right now. Here comes the other drone. Selzy tries to get out of it. There he goes. And the jet peaks, doing some just a little bit. Here comes the drone. And it is going to be looking like a full A push right now. However, they are staying back right now, as it seems. Look at he's playing so... It's almost as if they're... And Jet's going to peek out. Oh, and Yoshi just lines goodness. that up perfectly. Gets the kill Lays on the Jet. Out. And here goes the Yoshi with the ult right now. Is he going to find it? Oh, and Yoshi just hits out the ult as Selzy gets the kill on Yogglord. And it's now 5v3. Is Selzy going to hit the Sova? Doing some just a little bit. Oh, and Sova can't heal up now because Sage is dead. And now they are back in their own spawn as we're pushing up. And it looks like we're going to try to get the final kills right now. Creep Yoshi just so confident. Coming around the bend. Gets oh. the one. Oh, we it's sprays. Oh, the Game Boy spray. No. Oh, boy. And just like that, as we push into their territory, that's a 5-0 lead that we pressure. have now. Amazing pressure from Point Park right there. Oh. As soon as we get the no as soon as we knew that we were up in numbers and they were just going to go back, back, oh, back yeah, because they, they knew they were in trouble. And we just capitalized on, on that so well. And it hurts Liberty's eco even more because Point Park survived with five people. That means five rifles, five all shields mostly. It's, I mean, you can see it even now. Everyone oh, yeah. It doesn't barely breaking 2K Liberty's team right now. Oh, yes. It's not a good position to be put in considering that's 5-0. And Clark's going to be holding up b site just by himself as it looks like they are going to be going right now towards b site. Selzy oh, with the, the ult Sova. kills the Sova. Ah, oh, love to see it. We are holding them down right now. We are getting those early picks. Clark baits them around the yellow box a little bit to shoot. They know they're going to push up now. Jet with the ult. Clark. Point Park does have the KJ ult to hold them down over B. They do. This might force them to rotate. Might force them to rotate a little bit. They're making a lot of noises and a lot of shots near B-side right now. While Clark and Curse are going to try to hold down B-side. But Liberty is... Liberty has been doing this thing to where they try to stick with a play. And then they get stopped. And then it comes to this thing to where they, they almost don't know what to do. As you can see, four people haven't moved a single inch. And it's almost been 25 seconds. The mm. clock is ticking. And so 40 seconds left. Not much time. And it looks like they're going to try to move in and make a push here right now. But there's there's these Viper walls. They they have to push in right now. And they are pushing in. Cursed is kind of shooting through the walls right now. And here we are. Everything's getting played on by B right now. KJ ult is still up. 20 KJ seconds left on the clock. Got the KJ ult. We got Creeps ult as well. All right. Here's the plan. And Cursed sprays them through the roll. 13 seconds left on the clock. Curse kills two. Barely any time left. Seven seconds left. They're not going to be able to plan. Oh, and my gracious. Just like that, Yoshi and Creep get the final two kills. It's now six. I mean, nothing. What a round by Point Park. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be seeing a timeout from Liberty at some point. I mean, Point Park, this, this momentum is just unwavering. It's it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Well, right, now we have out. a timeout. Yep. There's a timeout right now. Liberty is definitely hurting right now. They just got done with their eco and stuff like that, but they were just pushed in I mean, honestly, on B main. The, I have a feeling, I, I don't think second, I mean, the second round by, it is so, that's such a risky play to do because if you don't go through or even grab any picks from that second round, then the next three rounds, you're stuck playing catch up with your eco, trying to get those full buys 
And against Point Park, I mean, you have the Viper, you have the KJ, you have the Sage. It's it's a very it's very hard. It, they have a very solid defense, but I'm I mean, it might be different in the second half though. No, that Point Park oh being yeah. an attacker side. So it might be different. Game is still in the air. Six oh so. Yeah. Going crazy, though. Get him. You know I'm saying exactly. We're going crazy. Momentum, momentum unwavering, man. Oh, and those guys, they are definitely have a momentum right now. Their the energy shots. is up. Oh, this, this, this is the kind of energy we need, and we got to keep on going right now. We have a beautiful 6-0 exactly. lead. As long as we hold on to it, as long as we keep we'll our ego. Oh, 10-0. We got it. 10 -0. Oh, we got it. And as you see, Habibi, Just like that. a total switch from last night to where Habibi wasn't looking two on Celsi wasn't looking too great two on fire when it came to getting kills in kda still making plays with his utility now hitting all the shots in the world and just like that as we enter this seventh round liberty is kind of defaulting a little bit we got killjoy soloing on a right now and then we have viper and sova over mid and then sage and Kia. Oh, no. Yeah, Viper and Jet on yeah, mid, and then Silva and Sage on B. It looks like they're trying to default, but we are just staying back. Definitely I don't think Liberty's getting a lot of intel right now. Mid is completely free right now. It's definitely free for them to walk up, but what? Are the, but without any intel, I mean, like, they... I don't know if they can push up With a little KJ bit. With KJ and Viper holding down oh, B, you know, it makes it nearly impossible for Liberty to push B. Oh, Clark's up. Uh, Clark sees them. Clark sees them over on B side right now. Both the Silva and the Sage. It looks like they're gonna try to make a push on over into that. Curse sees the kitchen. He sees the final two going into kitchen right now. Jet trying to look for a pick. They also sells again seeing the Killjoy right now. Up, 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 and Curse gets two of them through mid right now. Yoshi sees the one oh, on my mid. Goodness. Wicked flick by Yoshi. Oh. Oh, love to see it. And now there's just the final two who are spike landed on B. Clark gets the Sova. And now the Sage. With the KJ ult. Mm. Mm. And then Creep gets them. It looks like Sage was definitely trying to go for an ult right there. Doesn't pop it off, though. And now we're going to defuse for another Park, flawless victory. Park, Park is just Seven making those plays. I'm making those plays where you just go like, mm, amazing. Fundamentals of Valorant right there. Mm, amazing. Mm. The discipline. Mm. Amazing. The mechanics. Amazing. amazing. Everything, everything is looking. Point Park is looking so solid right now. Dare I, I mean, say Point Park is looking amazing. Amazing. Amazing, you know bro. Amazing. I mean, they They're all locked in. Look at them right now. They are locked in. Last they have the momentum. As well, they're in... Looking so solid, a total switch. Oh, and look at I love to see that eco. Not a single player is below 4,000 credits. That is something beautiful to see. And also, just with Liberty, they're also going to be having another, like a little bit of a save by this time. But now, they're KJ, trying to play catch up. Now, Jack the boy from Liberty, he has he has the KJ out now. So now, this kind of changes the round a little. Ooh, and Gatlinka gets a nasty headshot on Yoshi there. Nasty Marshall. That shot. might be able to make some... Liberty might be able to make some moves with that. And just like that, they're going to be going up through Kitchen right now. Selzy trying to catch him. And Jacked Up gets Clark. It's now a 5v3. Waste of a Viper as well from point oh. And they're on Eco right now. Creep does get Intergoal. Curse does get Sage. And the spike is down over on B side. And Selzy finds the Viper as well. It's 2v2. And Curse finds Gatlinka. Oh, and the only person remaining is Killjoy, and I think Selzy knows exactly where they're at. This is a very, it's a very odd play from Liberty to especially have a lurking KJ. I don't, I don't really know if this is, if this is really helping um, Libby, for instance. But. Oh, and Selzy found Cat Jacked Up right there, and then Jacked Up was able to get the kill. Very possible clutch up by they Jacked Up. They just gotta hold on because Spike left. is down. 25 seconds. They could that play time. That is huge information, and they have 25 seconds to plan. Oh. And there, and Cursed gets the third kill of that round right now, and that's an 8-0 lead. Walked straight into the crosshair with that one. The beginning of the round was a little bit shaky. Yoshi got picked off pretty early, oh. and so did Clark. That was definitely two, two integral players. Yeah. And considering that Clark used the alt for A, you would have thought that they would have pushed A since there's no Viper all in A anymore. But Liberty just still played it. I mean, Liberty's playing very, it's very passive. It's just, I'm, I'm seeing it's a, a lot very of passiveness. It's not much aggression, especially from their duelist. The only type of aggression I saw was when on the eco round when he had the um the sheriff and he got a couple picks with.
And here we go, up into the ninth round right now. Four more oh rounds to go. Yoshi gets Yoshi. a pick off of the Sage, and Spike goes down immediately. Oh, that is... Oh, and Yoshi gets another pick on the jet. Oh, my God. We're just getting those early picks today, boys. Ugh. Abix does find the uh, Viper, but first gets him right back. Selzy gets another one. Yoshi almost with the last kill right there on Jacked Up. And just like that, it's 3v1. Jacked Spike Up left alive again. Down. Oh, and Defenders win. Creep uses the Viper. Hey, there we go. Nine we got the v Nine rounds. Nine. Nine. Rounds. Nothing. Uncontested. Oh, God. Ryan looking so cute right there, smiling like that, man. <laughs> he knows they're nine rounds. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, this is this is, this is is a beautiful coming out of this a point park right now. This is the spot where you want to be. This in, is absolutely man. beautiful right now. And here we go. We're coming into the 10th round right now. Eco is looking beautiful. Looks like they're trying to do a... They're trying to do a little bit of a full buy right now, but they don't have the exact guns to do so. We're seeing Guardians and Bulldogs. And this is going to be interesting right now. Up, and they, and they make a full push towards mid right now, so that's backing them off completely. About to get some information with Cursed. Abix gets them. Spike down. Oh my goodness, Cursed, Cursed gets two kills right there. Cursed finds another Three one. Oh kills. God, Three kills. Clark gets another one. It's now 4v1, leaving the poor Killjoy jacked up just al alone. And Yoshi <laughs> finds them immediately. The third <laughs> round. Another round. Third round in a row that KG has been left alive, Ooh. unfortunately. The oh my god, these rounds are getting faster and faster for Point Park. They have momentum going right now. Come and there are the still zone. two more rounds to go. And then we're on the game too, already. Oh, and they already need three more rounds to put this game in the boxes, man. Ah. Oh. Just a reminder for everyone, is a best two out of three. Curse is 17 and 17 two. 17 and two. Absolutely phenomenal game oh right now. Curse is just holding down Sice beautifully Yoshi's looking to make today. a massive play right now with the ultimate. Oh, here we go. Yoshi ult. My goodness. Yoshi ult. He sees them. He sees them. Snipes from across gets one. the map. Yoshi gets two. Yoshi three. gets three. Oh, my God. Where's the fourth? Where's the fourth? Oh, God. Where's the fourth? You can hear Yoshi right now. Look at the ace. Yoshi gets four. Come on. Where's the ace? Where's the kill joy? The last right one. Now? Oh my gosh. He got some ace. Yoshi. Oh my gosh. Yoshi. Yoshi. What a phenomenal play by Yoshi. Oh. Absolutely unfazed right now. Still locked in despite getting such a massive play. Oh my gracious. Yoshi. <laughs> Amazing. What a play by Yoshi, man. My 1v5 God. God. Oh my God. And that puts him up to 15 and 5. 15 5. As we are entering the two. last round into the half. It's 11 0. Yoshi just making an absolute legwork. This game of reminds this me team. of Clemson right now. Oh, oh my, my God. Are we about to see a 13 0 on Icebox again? I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to knock on this table. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, Anything can happen, but... Oh, this is looking good. And oh, Yoshi just looks away as the jet comes out. Oh. And the jet does pick off the Yoshi. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yoshi oh, had his Yoshi. moment last... I don't know you say the Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi had his moment last round. It's okay. Hey, he did his it's job, okay. man. It's okay. And up. Selzy gets him. Very oh. awkward. We got two Very Killjoy good. alts going out right now. Selzy with the Odin right now. <laughs> Selzy just spamming. <laughs> Sozy just spamming right now. Clark, Yoglord is planning right now. Oh, and oh, but they catch they, three. They, they hit three of them right now. Oh my God! And Curse gets two kills. God. Oh my God! And just like that, this goes right back into their territory, oh and goodness. that's a win for the defenders. And that's two joy I mean, all. What an amazing, what amazing counter all from what Cursed right there, and just an amazing retake. This was just. I mean, this round looked like it was going into, um... <laughs> it makes a little gesture yeah, with the Odin. <laughs> I'm not sure oh. what happened there with the Odin. Celsi was right there. I mean, Liberty, they saw him. Two of them saw Celsi, but they couldn't do anything because oh of the counter KJ. It was just a very, it was just very awkward. But you can see Point Park's having just a ton of fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, this could cursed. be, I mean, it could be game, game winning round right here. 20 oh and 2. 20 cursed. and 2 coming from Curse. Let's go, man. Half. Oh my God. Love to see him holding down those sights and getting an easy 12 rounds out of this.
Alrighty, all we need, 13, we're on pistol oh, round right oh. now, and if we know Point Park's pistol round game, pistol oh, it's see. great, oh, it's great. They're rushing full in onto A right now. They're rushing full in onto A. Yoshi, coming up on top of the boxes, sees a little bit of the jet, I think, is going to throw that, throw that nade, there Wasting we go. Wasting no time. No time, no time wasted. Hits up the Sage a little bit. Oh, and Yoshi does fall, hurts himself a little bit, and does get hit by that snake bite. Alrighty, alrighty. Up, Clark sees Sova over uh, on the mid, but they do get him. Oh, boy. Alrighty, so it's a 3v5 situation right now. Looks like we're going to... We came in a little bit too hot, but it looks like we're going to be rotating back to B right now. Killjoy is being set up over on mid right now. Gets doinked a little bit. Liberty has the same strength of defending potential as Point Park has with this same comp. So anything could happen right now, even though it is 12-0. Exactly. And here goes Creep's wall right now. He's going to walk in for a plant right now. Oh, and Jacked Up is just above right now. Sage tries to run away. Doesn't get it. And all of the Point Park Pioneers are dead. Solid and that round. is going to be 12 to 1. Alrighty. So we couldn't get the sweep. We couldn't get the sweep, unfortunate. Hey, game is... This game is still heftily in Point Park's hand right now. All they need is one round on that attack site. And we could probably... Like just shelve this one in the books. It'll be. It already seems like it's shelved, but then again, I mean, anything can happen. I mean, Gathlinka to three picks with the with the classic, and it was pretty unfortunate there for Clark with that uh Clark with that sheriff just missing those shots. Unfortunately, he hit him once, but couldn't kill him in time enough. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we're having a little bit of a different strategy going into this. We're gonna have to save a little bit, and. And then we're gonna see some action over here. Yoshi holding up mid right now. Yoshi just running Tries through. to kill them. Sees the two over on mid right now. Tries to hit up that Killjoy, but the Gathlinka kills both Selzy and Clark. It's now a 5v3 yet again. That buy round, it's it's something serious. Something to not be messed with. Absolutely not. Creep is healing himself. Yoshi is watching Kitchen right now for this rotate. But they are still down in numbers, trying to see anyone right now. And Yoshi does find Jet, does get the kill, wasn't able to get the kill on Gathlinka. And just like that, we are on to site, but we are hurrying Spike in is number. down, unfortunately, in mid, though. It's down in mid, and they are all watching it. And Creep does oh, find them. This is a little bit of a save round for them, so I wouldn't expect a lot, but Gathlinka gets the fourth, and Yoglord gets the fifth. And just like that, that's a, that's a round loss again. Gathlinka with that, that Marshall. He does not miss a shot with that Marshall. Didn't miss a shot, but it's okay. They bought. We saved. We didn't take the risk that they did. Yes. That definitely threw their eco backwards. We're definitely going to try to full buy this third round on bonus. And it seems like they're going to be trying to save with their To play with side, their do guns. Think that, uh, this is game this round since we are able oh. to uh, full buy. But it does look like that. they're going to be buying a little bit more heavy integral with the um, Vandal right now, it seems Point like. Park, full, but we are full, rifles. full buying, full rifles, everything. We are hungry to just shelve this one down. We are hungry just to, like, get this over with. And here we go. We're full rushing into B right now. Are, is Liberty going to be ready for this? Traps already going up. Wall already going up. And here we go. Celsius going to be planting right now. Oh, and Yoshi gets hit a little bit. He getting hit through that wall. He's just... But now... But they this have is the perfect. Plant. They have a lot of time. Not everyone is onto site completely. Oh Clark, my goodness. Clark finds the Integral. The only Vandal on their team is down. Oh. Yoshi, Clark finds two. Oh, and he does get hit down. However, they are 4v3. still down. It's a 4v3 right now. This could be the last round right here. Yoshi finds one. And Jacked Up gets him back. But Creep gets it right back. We're playing table tennis. One bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. And there it is. Oh, my gosh. 13 to first map is Point Parks. This was, I mean, phenomenal gameplay. This was just amazing. It's an absolute blowout. For Point Park, saw a little time out there. That was a little bit weird, but it's all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's, I mean, this is, that that was just, it, that it was, was just, just solid Valorant. It I mean, was just solid game. Everything play. that needed to go right for the Point Park oh, Pioneers yeah. definitely went right. They all took the a huge risk 
on round two, Liberty did. Yeah. Full buying to try to it match them up a little them. bit. But it definitely hurt them when it got to the attack side. And yeah. they couldn't get into our territory once we had that eco up. That was a beautiful 12-0 sweep that we did mm. right at the very beginning. We kind of stumbled the first two rounds a little bit. But Ooh. after that, we definitely got their number. We full bought. And we definitely just got onto site, planted immediately, got yeah. the picks. Just... Close the just, book and put it on the shelf, baby, just, this match is over. Is it much to say in that, in that round? It's just, it was just one round after so the other. It was so one-sided. <laughs> and Curse with that Killjoy, oh especially my on that last 20, round I with the alt, like, getting three yeah. of them down for the count. Definitely. I mean, like, Curse definitely made a huge splash on I that mean, first going map. 20 and 2, first oh. map on KJ, you're not even a duelist? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's uh, nuts. Leave that, some room for nah, Yoshi. Curse, <laughs> curse definitely made some huge plays. And that with ace that kill with joint. Yoshi, like, uh, don't get oh me my gosh, bro. The, just the 1v5 guy. It just, it, it's oh a, my God. a dangerous player. It was very, That's oh my God. Yoshi did a very dangerous thing of just mm. walking in there and ulting immediately. Gets immediately two kills after the ult and then just goes deep into their zone and kills the rest of them. And Beautiful Liberty ace just, by one and yeah. Yoshi. Love to see it from our duelist. And Liberty oh, yeah. playing so, Liberty played so passive, trying to get any sort of information. And Point Park, they were just like, no, we're not going to peek. We're going to stay on site. And we're going to force you guys to come to site since it is attacker side, which that's something I probably would have liked to see from Liberty coming from uh, them playing defender side in the second half. But it just ended up not working. It was a very good defensive play. Yeah. It was a very solid defensive play during that first half. I mean, like, they just stayed back. They didn't rush in immediately. Mm. They just stayed back. They tried to get the intel on, okay, which side are they going to? Are they going A? Are they going B? Mm. And after they get the picks, they're like, okay, they're definitely stuck. Let's just push in and kill the rest of them. That is a very solid plan, and especially with a team hurting on Eco, yeah. we were just able to just communicate that flawlessly. Couldn't recover. That was uh. – that their eco I, I i'm surprised at how how like unrecoverable the the eco oh, yeah. was it hit like fourth round and i'm just i'm sitting here like is there ever gonna be a full buy again or is it just <laughs> they, they were just definitely stuck? hurting they were definitely hurting and that is the risk you are gonna be half to ready to deal with mm. if you full buy on second round i mean if you want to full buy on second round oh my god go ahead but only if you absolutely know you're going to be able to win these fights that exactly. you're gonna get yourself into and only being r one round in and s basing it off of the pistol round, that point yeah. mark one, I don't know if they had enough information in order to make that move. That's just, it's amazing. It's amazing how Valorant works, and it's amazing how, just how that one, we we, em we emphasize the second round, because if you don't play Valorant, then it is, it's just a known fact that once you lose the round in the first round, you don't buy. You, you, you save, That's like rule so you're number able one. to full buy the next round but there are some instances to where if you're feeling confident and if the other team is feeling a little, i guess ambitious sort of say you buy on that round and you push and try to get a pick so it prevents the per the other team that won that round um from further building their eco but it's a very risky play it there's sometimes where it costs you the game which these are one of those times and one of those situations to where it to be honest it quite literally costed liberty the game i'm i'm sure that Liberty mechanically, I mean, their mechanics are good. It's just they did not have they did there was the point park didn't give them a chance to have those rifles in their hands and to actually mm. mechanically play the game. They just gave them some machine guns and pistols the entire time. <laughs> and that's something that we've been dealing with these past two matches at, at the beginning of the semester. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, it happens we, with us. It's it happens the same with, us too. with us. Yeah, as exactly. much as it happened with them, it happens with us. Mm. We hurt on ecos and stuff like that as well. However, when we do get the chance to be able to full buy again, oh, it's over. It's over. It's yeah. over. Absolutely. So we are able to recover from that. But the one thing Point Park did really well is when they were able to full buy the very few times that they were when they were attacking, they just couldn't get their legwork with it. Survivability as well. Point Park, oh, exactly. every time, there was almost a round where they would win the round and they, they wouldn't lose. It wouldn't cost anybody they'll still be alive with like four people left and that's great for the eco going into the next round with four people still having their shields still having their guns so should be a starting game and uh it looks like we're going to be going back to here. split which is a little bit of familiar territory with the point park pioneers as well ever sure, since we got it back it. Yeah. ever since we got back onto split i think these boys have definitely tried to focus all their harbor. attention on it. harbor we're going to be seeing i want to see the harbor i want to see the harbor i want to see the harbor i need it Creep has been 
and Creep did this as well on Ice Post. He was able to like go push deep into their territory and mm. then just hold them out so they just get stuck into their own territory while we move to a position where we're able to like watch the I idols. mean, when you think about Harbor as a character in general, yes, he's a little bit iffy with his utility since it affects teammates as well. But when you have that wall and you have you have the pushing wall, you also have the smokes to where you have to shoot them in order to actually shoot through them. I mean the the potential for the post plant, the potential for pushing with Harbor, it's it's endless. It's endless amounts of possibilities that you can do with Harbor, especially with the ultimate to to where he has the the flood the splash. And I like this. I like this. I like that. Oh, but it looks like we that? are going to be getting into there soon. Oh. Soon? Uh, my shit it disappeared. But Hold just, on, Twitch. Just a little We're bit. getting there. We're just getting there. We're getting there. Uh, but this is definitely going to be very interesting to see. I cannot wait for us to get into here and get yeah. going. Uh, we had a beautiful first right, round. And let's oh, see what's going to be happening here. Ooh. Content. We have Ooh. the Omen. Okay. Clark is back on Omen. I love We got the that. Harbor. We got the Harbor. Yes. We see the Harbor. Creep is on Harbor. Cannot wait to see the real Salty on Fade. And let's talk about Clark, because I always got to talk about it when he picks an omen. It's his comfort pick. It is this this player's finesse with omen, and the way he uses the smokes, the way he uses the blind, it's unlike everything anything I've ever seen before. It's it's borderline semi-pro. It's, it's amazing what Clark can do with this omen, how he can use this character. But when we go on to Liberty, they have the Sage, the Rays, the Omen, the Cypher pick, which I think is really good from... It's very unique because when you think about it in the past, before Split was vaulted, Cypher was in a different spot in the meta. It was, wasn't was very that strong considering that the trips didn't have that much range and the ultimate didn't um, wasn't as consistent as it is now. So I'm, I'm curious to see how Cypher affects the gameplay now of Split being back. And it also looks like we're going to be attacking first, which is definitely going to be very interesting for our Point Park Pioneers. Top we definitely way. have to make a splash on attack if we want to have any problems on defense. We had no problems on defense last round, but we did have a few hiccups on those first two rounds in uh, the beginning yeah, exactly. of, of, the, of our attack side. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how we do this now. And just like that, we are getting into it. And Ray's, here we go. Yeah. Ray's trying to push him out. We got the Sage Wall up over on mid as it looks like we try to kind of push up through that right now. And it looks like we are. Harbor is making a oh, splash. So much pun coach. intended. Over on A site right now, which is taking a lot Look of their control. Look how much presence Creep has right now with Harbor. Three people are already rotating and are on A side. So I let Point Park know that, okay, it seems like B is free. But while this is all going on, Spike Cypher. is still in the spot. So what is what is Point Park's game plan right now? I think Point Park's game plan right now is to see if A is okay or if to see if B is going to be okay to go towards. And just like that, find the Cypher trips. And there's a... They wow, find the site, cypher, but that it's cypher cage be... is Really, what a one-way. Up, Selzy finds oh. one up top. Doesn't get it. Clark plants it. Creep gets one. The attention shifts over to him. Integral does keep, keep him out. But now we are just holding sight right now. Alrighty. Omen does flash him out right now. And Omen does smoke him out. Gathlinka hits them. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi! Yoshi! Oh my god! Look at him, bro! What? He's unfazed! He, his facial expression does not change, dude! Twitch, you can't it's see us right so now. It's just so easy for him, man. Twitch, you can't see me right now. I my jaw it's has been dropped. Unreal. Oh my. The retake, the confidence, the shots. Brother just hit aim laps for a second there. Oh my pick, gracious. Pick, pick, and pick. Yoshi. And it seemed like that. It seemed oh. like the the smoke that Yogmord put down for Liberty's team. It kind of ended up. Biting them in the back during that um during them retaking. It's just wow, what a play. What a play. And then Yoshi. Oh, doesn't see it, doesn't see it. Oh, oh doesn't it even just matter. Doesn't even matter. Does already get it. And they're full going into B site right now. Yoshi just there. flying all over this map. Yoshi looking way too comfortable right now with that. And movement. Clark gets integral as well. It's already a 5v3 right now. And just like that, we have so much comfortability coming into this site right now. And then what? What was that? 
Oh, so, God. Did he just... Oh, my gosh. Celsius just, oh. just knew. Oh, he just knew. It's game sense. And now it's a 5v1. KO's coming up, and oh. Clark gets them immediately. Hit him That's with the binoculars. Oh, my gosh. That's the another spray. one. That's one mm. of my favorite sprays, actually, the binoculars sprays. But, <coughs> I, I mean... There isn't much to say in that round, Mason. It's just it's solid fundamentals of Valorant. You got two pushing through mid, and then you got three pushing on site. I do think the site for one way you mentioned, it's very good, very clever. But if you can't hold the one way and you have to give up and play back in CT, then, then is it really that effective? It's it it not. ruins the entire purpose of that one way. Uh. And I think Cypher is getting pushed out before he has the opportunity to use that one way. But when we just go out into site right now, look, I mean, like, look how hard we're pushing. Uh, I mean, oh, I, oh my gosh, bro, the movements. And Yoshi the picks up a from phantom. Yoshi. Oh my god. Yoshi is just absolutely playing with Liberty right now. Not even 15 seconds into up. the round, and Yoshi is already in their spawn with that control of heaven. A trade happens over on mid right now. Yoshi with seven health needs to be careful right now because we don't have a sage to deal with. Oh, beautiful gameplay by Point Park. Doesn't even matter though because the omen just gets hit right there and Curse gets integral. It's now a 4v1. It doesn't even matter. We're going back onto B site. We know exactly where the Cypher is at. Trapped in his own spawn and Celsius going to get the plant. And what's amazing is that I would have thought, I, I would have thought they would have won A. You get, you get two picks. You think of, no, you get one pick at A. A side looks like it's free, and then they're like, okay, well, we see that we have heaven control. We see someone still on A. How about let's just do a full-on rotate at B, and they find themselves a pick while rotating. I mean, that's just it's just that discipline that I've been talking about. It's just amazing discipline, my point. And Cypher is about to attempt to go in right now, but just doesn't know the exact way to do it. I think, I think a smart move would be to save right now. I think a pretty smart definitely. move would definitely be to save for them because they had to full buy its third round. They have the Phantom, and they gave up a lot of their good guns to our team already. So we're going to be great on the eco right now. And Clark oh. does find him, though. Finds him sitting as they're trying to save. And that's another win. We're now 3-0 and oh up against this Liberty University. Oh. Oh. I'll, I'm going to be honest. I was definitely a little bit worried about our attack strategies after seeing like that little snippet off of Icebox. I mean, even but this seeing is just leg night. work when even we're on thing Last lit. night when it comes to... When it comes to attacker side, last night our attacker side, it was rough. Point Park's attacker side, it's it's been something that Point Park has been constantly working at, and now seeing it out, I mean, you're just seeing one of those times where it flourishes out. Oh, my alarm is uh, going off. It's Ricky's alarm for Sorry. it's go time. Yep, it's alarm for Point Park to uh, maybe do a 13-0 again. So here we go. So here we go. There's a lot of mana commotion happening right now. Yoshi's going to be pushing up right now. Creep and look at that harbor. Alarm. Look at that. Ah, oh, what do that. you do, bro? It's it's it's, it's goaded. Harbor's utility is ridiculous. And Clark just gets the kill on the KO immediately as he's working through A. This is what you love to see. That harbor wall. Yogler with the harbor. does get Yoshi and Creep, but Selzy gets him back. Yogler it's now three v three. That was very very impressive, and it kind of and it kind of slowed down our momentum already. Sage is holding that one way, and it looks like Cypher's going to be able to hold this one way once Killjoy gets into here. So this is definitely going to be interesting. We're going to be site yet again. Oh, and Sage, I hit with Tony finds one, and Selzy gets it. Tries to eye, but doesn't work out, so that's a trade. Curse gets one. Oh, up. little weird situation pistol. going on there with Clark and Raze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, blind, hits him with the blind, beautiful blind. With blind. the telly. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Get the knife! Don't Get do it! Knife. Don't do Get it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Uh, the sauce! <laughs> Clark! The, oh, the uh, sauce! Oh my gosh! It's, Clark almost goaded the freaking I mean, Point with Park, the they're just playing with their food right now. Uh. The beautiful flash with the TP. I mean, just the mind games, as I said before. Clark, on you don't want to see um, if the game had bans. I would advise other universities to ban Clark on Omen. That is my hot take. <laughs> uh, it's it's a it's dangerous. It's, it's very very dirty. dirty. And Borderline look at him. duelist. To and be look honest. at him. We're in the fifth round. He's five and one right insane. now. This is insane from an Omen. I mean, like he's just getting the picks and he's getting dirty with it. But as the KO knife. It kind of suppresses them a little bit, so it looks like a lot of their attention is going to be going to A site right now. However, Yoshi and Creep, the Harbor and the, the Raids, duo. The, the dynamic, dynamic duo, is going to be pushing up through mid right now. 
Sage might be coming, pushing through though, and yeah. just maybe misses it. And he's going in, going into B side, trying to get those picks. However, Sage, if Sage were to push out at really any moment, like they would have just found that both of them. And there we go. Sage possibly Sage. trying to. Up Sage Find definitely pick, finds really. the harbor. They're, she's also looking for Raze, it seems like. And look like. at that. Did they not see each other? Just because of Raze and Harbor rotating Making, alone, it ga gave up a completely. And there we go. There's the Killjoy alt that happens right now. And then Sage is just kind of staying back a little bit onto the beat on mid, trying to find Sit onto the beat. Hold on now. Hold, Hold on, on to the beat. About to get to the beat. About to get to the beat. Selzy is planting a 5v5 plant, it seems like. Creep gets the Sage up, and Yoshi gets Yoshi. the Cypher. What is what is going on with this flank? We're but holding the, on sight. Oh, but the Harbor Ultimate, that's something so dangerous. Up, oh. There's another blind on the raise. Oh, and on the custom. Oh, my gracious. And just like that, they sweep him out. That's a flawless victory for As Point I talked Park, about before, that, that Harbor Ultimate, it's... It's crazy. Oh, it concusses the teammates, game. but that ultimate's crazy. I'm, I'm loving oh, yeah. the harbor pick. I'm dying to see it. Right in it. I mean, Creep even told me before he was like, "Yeah, man, I've been playing harbor. I've been feeling very comfortable on it." And he was, he's wanted me to see it, and now I'm seeing it, and I'm so oh, glad I'm beautiful. seeing it. It's amazing. It's a sight to see. No, she's no she going it. nine and one right now. Oh, great. I mean, that's just absolutely easy, um, taking that duelist role and putting it to the max. I mean, I knew this game was over when. He made no facial expression when he oh, got no. his skills. Oh, oh boy. Okay, we have a harbor right now, and here's that one way. Oh, here we go. And Yoshi with the ult right now tries to find them. Is he going to shoot? He shoots and doesn't score, unfortunately. But it's okay because that gave them sight, and the spike is planted. Yoshi all the way up in CT right now. Yoshi gets flashed oh. and does get killed, but Curse does get Gathlinka. And now Creep is just holding up Haven right now. Kills the Cypher Cam immediately. I mean, my gosh. Park has the gun advantage, though. Has the gun advantage. They get ulted immediately. Creep finds one. Curse finds another. And just like that, they are holding down the site right now. And this spike is still planted. And they haven't made a move towards site yet. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. And Cypher is the only one left standing. Oh, and look at this wall. Look at this wall. Up and, and, uh. Oh, my goodness. Up. There we go. <laughs> they kind of walk past each other a little bit through that wall, but Second Clark time. finds them immediately. Second time Clark could have done a knife for the uh, fun of it, but I understand. Got to keep it professional. I hey, yeah, you just got to keep it funny. You, 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 you got to keep your mind up and not your funny up, you know? What? We just, uh, leave the funny to us. Leave the funny to oh, us. To the job. players, they got to lock down. They got to get they serious and look up. at the, all of them right now. They have the 6-0 lead, and they definitely have no intention of losing it. Yep. Uh, and we are going in the seventh round right now. Our credits, I mean, love six, them. Oh, good. And here, here's the Force. full buy. And here is the full buy on uh, Liberty right now. So this should definitely be interesting. Rays gets smoked out. But Rays is able to move past that a little bit. Gets the boom bot going. And Clark kind of, Clark and Yoshi both kind of spray a little bit towards um, mid right now. Smoke and, um, and mid right now for Liberty. Simon. And look at work. Creep. Making some leg work. Up, oh, Yoshi almost got Omen. Oh, oh we got there him we with go. the satchel. Yep. There we go. The There's disrespect. a satchel kill. There's a satchel kill. Beautiful. Love to see it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Clark knows exactly what they're up. There we go. Oh, and ah, uh, doesn't hesitate. Doesn't find it. Ah, uh, doesn't find it. It's a four v four now. As we are going back to B site. Yoshi, Yoshi finds the Sage Amazing immediately. Amazing sense right though, just checking the And corners. just like that, Creep is going to be lurking again. Yoshi finds a kill but with the... Oh my Creep gosh. is sandwiched right now. The Cypher is just behind him. Is Creep going to notice that? Is Creep going to notice that? Oh. Or is Cypher just going to let... Oh, yep. wow. Yep, Cypher does find Creep flanking. And he and the Cypher is going to be using his ult right now. Does get a kill on Selzy. And Yoshi and Curse are the only ones left alive in this 2v2 situation. Yoshi finds the one. Yoshi knows he's finds the oh other. Oh my gosh. For another Wait, that's an ace. ace. That's, that's an ace. Second ace. Dude. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my god. And look at him. Not even face. Not even a not even face. Oh, he knows what he did. He he's knows what not he did. even face. That's his Dude. second ace of the entire game. What a series. guy, man. Oh my god.
Oh my just, god, Yoshi with the double ace. They're very Holy strong, crap. completely zoned in right now. It's just Ugh. phenomenal gameplay by 7-0. 14, 14 and 2. 14 and 2. Oh. Yoshi is absolutely killing it right now. Love the manga bat. It's one of the best knives in I mean, Valorant like, right now. I love that Radiant Crisis series too. And Integral. Integral buddy. Oh. Aw. <laughs> Integral killed himself with um with the bait. Very... Uh, he he went in a little bit too hard. He was he was too he was, he was a little bit too goaded with the sauce there, but it's okay. And it's stuff it's like okay. that that can kind of ruin ruin and the it Kind of there. ruins their vibe a little bit. It's now a four v two as they're going onto site right now. Clark does get picked off in the middle of that mid stuff, but just like that, both the Omen and the Cypher are kind of like back in their spawn right now as we just have free site. And look at this coverage that harbor has right now uh look at the, i mean like look at that the utility is i mean like that's a one that's a one way in itself i would have never expected that oh it's just it's getting nasty all righty omen Page does come down enemy. does come down and creep does find him so the only one left is the cypher they're shooting up top they just gotta find him where is he at there he is someone get him get him get him creep my, oh. And there we go. Creep gets it. I keep thinking that they're <laughs> gonna go for a knife. I don't, I, I don't know why if I want to see a knife or. Oh, I mean, I would love to see a knife. I always love seeing knives. Nah, I think they're very oh funny. I think that's that's the funny haha moment of the century. Really, is just it's killing true. somebody with a knife. But it doesn't matter. We're still eight and zero. We're gonna we're gonna put this entire game under the. the yeah, it seems right like here. this game is um, oh. gonna be in wraps. Oh, I think there will be a timeout soon. I mean, it is eight zero. Yeah, I, I mean, Liberty's surprised. gotta. Unless Liberty has, uh, I don't, I don't know, man. Liberty does have. They, the they KO do ult. have a timeout, and they do have KO ult. They have an Omen ult, and they have the Sage ult. I haven't even seen a Sage ult really. It's still possible. I go crazy over still Sage ult not being used. Oh yeah, and Yoshi making a lot of, of presence right now over on mid, and mid is just completely free right now. And there's the knife. Oh, the Yog Lord finds him. Yoglorn finds Clark. As he finds Clark, he also... Oh, I thought he found the spike. Else oh, and here's the both of them. And Yoshi right, does Yoshi. find Integral right there. And just like that, it's all tied up again. Creep finds Yoglord. And now and now they're going in. They're going back to B-Site. They're going back. We're bringing it. We're bringing it. We're bringing it back, as Pitbull says. What? And Point Park also... I mean, Point Whoop. Park, it's the same push as... Oh, never well, mind. They're switching up to A. They're, they're switching up to A. Mid to B, but well, now A's a free a. site right now. A is a completely free site right now. True. Creep uses the ult and is is not gonna find anyone. Oh, and the alarm bot finds um. Alarm bot forgot finds that guy's sage. name. The Liberty Sage. <laughs> Liberty Sage right now got found out by that alarm bot, and just like that, they're both coming in together through up top. Yoshi finds one. And finds oh the other. Gracious. Just like that. No, see, it's another says, win for the Point Park Pioneers. It's, it's, a, it's a farm best. Oh my god. Everyone, get on your phones and go to payday because we absolutely farming right now. All right, exactly. So here we go. Uh, oh, here we go. We're around. locked in right now. Nine we got the oh. eco. Oh, I'm loving this eco that oh, we have right goodness. now as well. Oh my god. There's a lot of eco. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Hefty if it ends up being 13-0 this we're time. We're hefty I in it. Let's not call it too early, man. We still got a few rounds you to know, go. We, we but jinxed hey, them last time. I mean, well. like, hey, we did jinx them last time. Are we going to jinx them this time? Who knows? Oop. There's some shots going around throughout there. A little bit of martial shots. Creep finds Yogglord. Just like that, it's a 5-0. -E and here's the alt. Here is the alt. Who are we going to find? Who are we going to find? Yoshi to find you Doesn't the find anyone. They do get back for that. Oh, my gosh. And Yoshi just knew that he was going back in the CT and finds the pick on Cypher. This is just... Yoshi's like, yeah, Cypher, we're not having you this game. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> and Creep still making a huge presence over on A-Site. However, uh, Integral has to rotate backwards, and Yoshi just picks up on it immediately. Oh, and just like that, it's a 5v2. Yoshi finds... Another Yoshi one. finds Sage. Is Creep going to find KO? Up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Creep was, thought he uh, got the kill. Didn't quite get the kill. Oh, and there's some some mad shit happening there right now. Gathlinka hits it, but Creep okay. gets it back. It's another win. A little bit chaotic. Just uh, Point Park having a little bit of fun there, but now it is uh, it is 10-0. 10-0. Good God.
Oh my goodness, I wouldn't have. Oh yeah, wouldn't have expected this. This is just. Ah, uh, we clean sweeping today. Just am amazing. We just clean. Point we park. just clean sweeping. We just you know. Giving them a little sweep. What? <laughs> Yo. We sweeping them right now. We sweeping them. But here we go. Here we go. Yoshi, 21 and 3. And it's not even the end of the half. Yoshi. Oh, my God. is just killing them this time. And it's Gathlinka. Oh, and it looks like they are completely going all out through mid right now on the defense side. But lucky enough. Uh, no one from Point Park went mid this time, so uh, that's just li definitely some good. That's some good uh, timing right there, I would say, on Point Park's side. Creep is completely left alone at A site. Completely left alone at A site. However, they're gonna get caught a little bit here. Yog Lord, Integral finds Kark, and Cursed finds them. Yeah, and oh boy, Creep there's a lot happening right think. now. I think this definitely worked out into Liberty's favor. It is now a 2v4 right now, and they're going to be coming in soon. Creep coming in from up top. Jacked up gets him. Ah, oh, Creep just tries to hit up the Cypher and just doesn't work out. And now it's a 4v1, and he is all alone. Spike is down over on B site. What's the plan? What is the plan? Can Creep 4v1 this? It looks like he's going to try to. He's putting out all the smokes, putting out all the walls. The utility. I mean, look at this the utility, utility right, now. right now. Gives him so much cover. Up, finds him. Can he get him? Gets him. He's at 30 health right now. He's got to make a lot of the leg work, and he doesn't get it. Gathlinga does get him. Okay, that's one round. They're allowed to have one round. That'll be the first round. For, um, we don't do a complete sweep, but we still, we're still keeping him on our toes a little bit. It's 10 to 1. We got one more round in the half. A little bit more. And then we go the into up. our comfort, the defense. Yes. Oh with a goodness. hefty, hefty lead, no matter what happens in this last round. I think this defense, half. I think Pumper's defense is going to be even more solid considering that harbor. I mean, harbor, basically Ooh. the walls are kind of like flashes, to be honest, because you can't see nothing with how wide those oh, walls absolutely. are. Absolutely. I can't wait to see it. And here we go. Kathalinka, the KO, holding out mid right now. Yoshi does get caught in it. And, oh, they're just going to try to go after him right now. They're going to try to put him down. There's the ult. Oh, cancels it. Oh, my goodness, and Yoshi. And the stage as well. Right okay, Yoshi. Yoshi. Finds two picks. Yoshi, okay right now. Oh, and Yogg Lord Spike does hit creep, but Clark hits him right back. Spike is down on A. So that gives the Cypher and the KO the information they need to push back. However, Yoshi is clearing up top here. He's going to throw that nade. He's going to get back a little bit. KO oh, and it looks like flank. KO on the flank right now. So they know where one's at. They know where one's at. Do they know where the Cypher's at? I don't think Clark does. Yoshi does hit the KO alt. All they got to do is they find the Cypher, which they do, the and that's an attacker win. It's 11 to 1. It's wow. the end of the half, and we are going into defense attacker mode right side. now on a full, full stomach. 11 rounds. Oh. On attacker side, that's, I mean, that's insane. And it's funny because split is usually known as kind of a defender side and not just with how, just with how the mid is. Oh and, my god! And just yeah. how hard it is to push mid on attacker side. But Point Park, they found the answers, and they just executed every single plan. It's like we said uh. last game. Everything that they're doing, it's being executed so much, so well. And on top of these plans and these comps that they're doing, you also have Yoshi, which is kind of like the Ronin of the <laughs> team that just kind of goes in there and be like, okay, I want a 1v5 in this round, so I'm going to do it. And that even helps Plant Park's um, leth lethality as a team whole even more. Oh, and here we go. We got both Yoshi and Selzy. Yoshi oh, already got a freaking nade great. kill on Yogg Lord. Love to see it. Making a huge presence over on mid right now. Spike gets down. Yoshi does get two, but he does get picked off in there. So we're going to have to kind of lay low a little bit. Let them let them think that they're comfortable Clark a little bit. With this massive flank that's happening right now. I'm not sure if this is going to work since they oh, do have the Clark. flank tripped. Oh, Clark. Clark Clark's got to get there in time, though. I mean, Clark's got to get there in time. Up. Here's. Does he think he can clear it? Maybe he can TP over it. Does he think he can clear it? Oh, he, <gasps> and he clears and Clark it. Clark jumps over the trip. Now this is very. Oh, and I think Cipher heard it. I think Cipher heard it. 
Does he know, though? The oh. pistol battle, and Clark wins it. It's now 2v4 two to f two v four right now, and the last two are mid. Oh, Selzy tries to get it. Creep gets the Sage. Only one left is Integral right now. He's, he's trapped into mid right now, and wow. Creep gets the kill. Just a, like that. What a play. What and a, now it's... And now we win the pistol round. It's now 12 to 1. I mean, what movement by Clark what right there? Just, I, I didn't right even know now. what that was. I mean, you could jump that. It's like Clark was asking himself, like, can I jump this? I don't know. If it doesn't work, I'm dead. <laughs> but if it does work, then we win the round. I love so, seeing uh, that thought process. And I was like, okay, get out the knife. Okay. <laughs> yeah, think, get out I the knife. <laughs> I think they'll give me, give me a little more leverage right now. Okay, it does. It does. Ooh, I think it can clear it. And he clears it. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. Avoiding that cypher trip. Oh, love it. Possibly could be game point. I mean, just... This is game point in the Point Park's territory right now. Yoshi on the... Oh, my gosh. What a combo by the Fade Yoshi and the Rays. Oh, and they're just oh, absolutely goodness. dominating them right now. They know they're all there. And then Jacked Up takes a huge leap of faith on top of Yoshi right chaos now. Chaos going on right chaos. now. <laughs> with the final two kills. And there the is blind, your win the for blind. the Point Park Pioneers. Two oh, blind and the two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I'm telling you, I even set up before oh. the game started. <laughs> this kid with his omen, it's just... It's, it's dangerous. Vile. It's, it's just, vile. It's borderline disrespectful. He's a menace to society. <laughs> and then well, let's talk about I, – I feel like I'm always talking about Yoshi when it comes to these Valorant games. But, I mean, this guy just is just – Locked he in. He lets his presence known throughout the match. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, this this guy with Rays, if you put him on Rays – you're getting picks. It's guaranteed oh, no. to get picks. Oh no! It's absolutely nuts. And I don't know what he ended up on. Just from just from like what so. 15, fourteen rounds, just like that. Um, twenty eight kills. That's just oh twenty eight. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's just that. It's ridiculous. That is vile. It's just oh, oh my gosh! And not only that, but on it was a bloodbath. It was a crime oh, scene. No. Oh, it was no. an absolute crime oh, scene yeah. from Point Park. It's just you. That's there's not much to, to say. See. It's just solid plays were executed. Cursed on Icebox, phenomenal performance. I I would have oh, thought I'd yeah. never seen him even pop off like that ever before, especially being on KJ. Uh, I mean, usually as KJ, you you're not really top fragging like that. You're really used for your utility and possibly pick up picks, but you kind of let that's Razor's job to pick up the picks. But he was just going crazy. And, oh no! But Yoshi that one round with the Yoshi pistol just on off? split. I was like, oh my god! Oh, my god. Like, oh the beautiful wow! Beautiful shots from Plain Park mechanics wise. I mean, again, be that's amazing shots. There's, there's not really much to say, Mason. It was just, it was a crime scene, and uh, we witnessed it, and it was just. Oh, that oh. is a that is a it's nice satisfying. clean dub it's, it's, for your it's Point Park Pioneers. It's, it's quite satisfying oh, to see. I'm not. I going love to that. Ah, oh, we are making such a presence night now, and I cannot wait to see this next match. Oh yeah, that definitely. Point Park Pioneers are happening I believe right the next now. match uh, should be next week. Next, next week. Friday, I believe. Depends, but it could be a bye week. We'll have to check on the schedule, but we will keep you guys posted on our socials. Make sure to keep up with our socials, but mm -hmm. I want to uh. see, besides that, I want to see more league. <laughs> see more league. Uh, I, I see mean, our league. league team made, like, a huge presence as well. Hmm. Uh. But we are trying to figure out right now to see if we can uh, possibly do a post-game interview with, um, I think, the director wants creep which is Ryan. He is the IGL of the team to see if we can uh, get him on the mic, tell him to see how he felt on that game, how good he oh, felt, yeah. and probably talk about that harbor because that harbor Gotta was talk about that harbor right now. That harbor was just throw, I mean, it threw Liberty for a loop. I mean, oh, it would have yeah. threw me for a loop in game. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, okay, you're throwing so much utility at us on this one site, but your team's not even going to the site. So it's, I mean, beautiful mind games. What? We're getting Yoshi. Oh, we're getting awesome. Yoshi! Let's go! Oh, yeah. oh, We're yeah. getting the Ronin, the samurai himself, the lone warrior. The 28 that is able, three himself. Yes, the, that is able to 1v5 and just for, just he's the a menace. Double ace. The yes, double ace. Double ace. I mean, uh, this this kid is crazy. We ain't finished yet, so please stick yes, around. Please we're gonna get Aaron on the mic interview. here. I and we're gonna wait. talk to him about this absolute Intermission. Going to intermission. We're going to be All going right. to intermission. Stay tuned, though. Yeah, we are going to be tuned. talking to our boys. We're talking to the Bow Boys and talking to them about this absolute clean match that they just did. Stay tuned, guys. Yes. 
All righty, and we are back, and I got the boy Aaron right here, and Yoshi, the Rays, phenomenal player, and uh, just give me, just give me some insight on your headspace. Like, like what was going on in your head while you were getting those aces? Why are you just playing just as a a team, like as a duelist? Like, well, what I can say is like whenever I'm calm before a game, right, hmm. and that first round hits like it did on split. I just, the zone. I just see it, you know. <laughs> I just see, I see it. The game. Like I, I can like envision what's gonna happen. I love that. that. I oh. love that. Oh my gosh! And like, I mean, how did you, dude? How are you even like, like that one time on split doing the retake and you got those just that trigger discipline? Like, is that just, is that just innate? Like, how did you even? I think you I think see that situation. It was definitely a part of my team. My team was definitely giving me a lot of comps. Mm. Um, I could when. If you replay it, uh, Clark TP'd B main. There was two B main, so I knew they were going to fight them. And the omen smoke was kind of bad, and they didn't clear me. So yeah. Was, that yeah. was just I, – I can't believe they didn't clear you there, especially yeah. since they smoked that. I thought they would have cleared the site. That's just – that's unreal, bro. Yeah. And going to – what, bro? 1v5 is on the icebox? I mean, come on, bro. Like, I, what is it – what was what was happening there? Like, I, did you did it just happen? You were just, just like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Okay. And I will admit, like after the first three kills, I was like, okay, I, I <laughs> want it. I was like, give it to me, give it to me. I, did, I, I even heard it. you there. We were like, yeah. give it to me, give me this. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's just like, oh my gosh, yeah. dude. But your impact as a player, like it's, I mean, it's been flourishing out this entire semester. Like mm -hmm. even you guys had a a total flip. I mean, what was the difference between last night's games? And today's games, I mean, was was there a flip in the in the mental? Um, like, there's a completely different play style that we saw there. Yeah, definitely, it has to be our mental. Our mental definitely improved over the semester, mm. and uh, we have improved as a team a lot. Yeah. you can vouch for that. Oh yeah, for Any, sure. Anybody <laughs> for can vouch sure. For that. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just you know improving, and I think hey, we have a shot. <laughs> I think we have, I think we have a really, really good shot. That's good. I'm I'm glad. Thanks for coming on course, for the bro. interview. You know, uh, Yossi. Lone War, you'll be seeing more of him. Probably as raised, to be honest, but <laughs> there we go, man. And so we should hopefully kind of left us in the dark a little <laughs> bit. So, um, yeah. But, hey. Good games. Yeah, no, that was that was really, really good. I'm just, we're trying to see in the uh, schedule right now if there's going to be um, if there's gonna be a Wednesday or next game tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm about to say, Director, we're about to finish up with my boy here. I'm going to let him go celebrate with his team. But, yeah, man, thanks for coming on. Great job. Great stuff, man. Yeah. I got you. All right.